All right, guess I can start. I kind of would want to do the wild again. No, not the wild, the beast. Uh, which one was the beast again? Uh, I think this one was the beast. One. So let me. Close to your corpse. I guess we'll just have to trust that we made the right call. Oh shit! I hit the mic. We'll still be here if we... the door to the basement creaks open. Yeah, she. Gr I can smell you. Yeah. Okay. She sounds almost impatient. You carefully make your way down the stairs. The last step gives way to the damp earth. The jungle is pressing in. You see only a flash of the okay. princess before she scurries away into the underbrush, dragging her heavy chain behind her. Remember. She's just a princess. She's certainly not just a princess. You're not helping. Doesn't matter what she is. It only matters what she does. Her shining eyes appear between the leaves, staring hungrily at you from the darkness. I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. You're right to be terrified. I'm so much more than you. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you upright. Where's Jacob? She's getting ready to pounce. Move now. Uh, well, don't tell me what to do. There's a shift in the humid air. Freeze. Something in the air. Lunges from the shadows, her more unhinged and dripping, her eyes fierce and full of hunger. She was too quick to outrun, too nimble to outmaneuver, too determined to overpower. This is her domain. You are devoured. Mm -hmm. I guess that's it then, isn't it? Unfortunately for you, no. This isn't it. You are in a dark and the liquid. When I killed you, the um. flesh around you, but you stopped that shit. And then I attacked you. Okay. Can you talk to the cabin? You have asked me before for swallowing me alive. I have my steel claw, she's not gonna. You know, wait for death. Bad. This is a bad thing to do. Your will dissolves along with your flesh. You let go and pathetically await your death, every burning second dragging on until you're reduced to a wet pile of bone and gristle. We'll do better next time. Your vision finally begins to blur, your eyes clouding over as they melt in their sockets. Everything goes dark. And you die. The why? Okay, I already did this. Um, all right. All right, take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. And now enter the basement. Okay. <coughs> the door to the basement creaks open, revealing what I should have made tea. Old wooden staircase. It's still sturdy enough that you can make your way down in one piece, though you'll have to be mindful of holes. The air seeping up from below is oddly warm and wet, as if you're descending into a jungle. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. She growls up the stairs. I can smell you. She sounds almost feral. Impatient. Or maybe eager. You carefully make your way down the stairs. The last step gives way to the damp earth floor of a starlit pit. The walls are obscured. Hey, Dai, how you doing? So it just mirrors the sound really low. Shit. Yeah, I mean, it's not the loudest game in the world, but. As of plants that surround you on all sides, seemingly the only living things that occupy this strange underground wilderness. Should have probably checked the audio. And now I'm paranoid to see the what what it 
how fucking low it was last stream. Hold up. Hold up. The jungle is pressing in on us, hiding her from view. She could be anywhere. Hi. You go and check. You see only a flash of the princess before she scurries away into the underbrush, dragging her heavy chain behind her. Oh my god, it is low. Motherfucker. Remember, she's just a princess. Okay. Sorry, it might be me. I have my computer sound, so I'm good for now. I mean, I also just um, turned up the, sh the desktop audio, but no, it was low. Uh, how have your streams been? It's been a while since I caught your stream. I mean, I haven't, not I haven't really streamed that much. Uh, You're not helping. This is kind of the first time in a while that I stream consecutively it doesn't matter what she is it only matters what she does her shining eyes appear between the leaves staring hungrily at you from the darkness i can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs fledgling you're right to be terrified i'm so much more than you and a little splinter clutched in trembling hands won't save you from me. That might be why then. Yeah. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you upright. The air's shifting. She's getting ready to pounce. Move now. Um. Move. You lunge to the side, picking a direction on instinct. As you land, you're buffeted by a gust of air, disturbed by the sudden motion of a massive body. The princess. In an instant, she's pounced on the spot where you would have been, her chains rattling across the floor behind her. Before you can blink, she's gone, vanishing once more into the shadows. But you still feel her gaze on you. You're faster than you were before, but you're still meek, reactive, prey. You whirl around to find her, and your gaze meets hers, a pair of shining eyes peering out at you from just beyond the basement stairs. So she's cut off our escape. Shit. What do we do? Uh, what do you want? We don't have to kill each other? What if, what if I helped you? What if we left together? We could get out of here on your own, wouldn't you have already left? Stop hiding and show yourself. I was sent to kill you. Okay, there is so much. Rumpus says. She's right there. We have to wait for an opening. Fine, That's fair. bitch. She'll kill us if we try and run past her. What do you want? I want to swallow you whole. And That's I will said. get what I want. You have no exit. You have no hope. You live and die by my whims. And my whims alone. Also, just to confirm, I'm not the only one who sees the, the fucking chimera from, from, from Fumano Alchemist, right? Just... <laughs> just, you know... Don't ask her what she wants. Just slay her. Also, God damn it! Why is that here now? Um, I don't know how to get rid of that. How do I get rid of that? Oh no! Is that all the advice you have? We don't even know what she looks like. Some specifics would be very helpful. She's just a princess. Don't overthink it. 
uh, or maybe I can she's just a princess don't overthink it uh, nope still there how do I remove that uh, she's clearly not Why do you want to kill me? We don't have to kill each other. What if I helped you? What if we could leave? You okay. cannot reason your way out of this, fledgling. There's no compromise with what I am. Fair. At least she's upfront about her intentions. She's coiling for another strike. Be somewhere else. We're on the back foot. Oh, that's how. Okay. I figured out how my mouse works. The back foot keeps us nimble. Keeps us alive. It doesn't matter if it keeps us alive if it eventually kills us. We need to take back the momentum. We need to do something. Okay. How exactly are we supposed to take back the momentum here? Um... Wait for her to strike and then strike back. How exactly are we supposed we to take back blade. the momentum? I assume all she has are nails and teeth. Let's use our advantage. The steel claw is small and she is large. It's dangerous to fight back. It should only be a last resort. Survive. Wait for her to strike and hit back. Play dead. Stand still. Um, I will say wait for it to strike and then, or, no, let's play dead. We're playing dead. It's unexpected. It could work. As the princess lunges from the shadows once Opossum. more, you collapse to the ground, feigning death. She lands directly on top of you with her full weight, nearly crushing you into the dirt, but then, silence, only broken by the sound of your beating heart. It actually worked, didn't it? No. Only, what do we do to make her leave? Do we just keep playing dead? She sniffs at you, shifting her weight uncomfortably as her face finds yours. Her breaths are hot and oppressive against your skin. Have you seen my great big eyes? Because they see you, fledgling. They see your heartbeat pulsing in your throat. Move now. I think it's, it's too, all late too late for you to move. Her jaw unhinges, and she swallows you whole. I guess that's it then, isn't it? Nope. Unfortunately for you, no. This isn't it. You are in a dark and caustic place. A thick, fibrous lining constricts around you. Its slick surface impossible to grip. Your hands scrabbling uselessly at your surroundings as they compress in on you. Your lungs can barely expand in such a tiny space. Not that the humid, finite air grants you more than a few shallow breaths at a time. The liquid pooling beneath you starts to seep into your skin. You itch, then sting, then burn as the acid begins its slow work. When I killed you, I tried to leave this place, but it wouldn't let me. You belong down there, it screamed at me. The world is better off without you in it. The flesh around you rumbles as the princess begins to move, her thundering footfalls twisting you helplessly about. Your skin protests as the corrosive liquid sloshes around you, but there will be no respite for you in sight. The burning grows stronger, and you can feel layers of you being peeled away. But you... You don't belong down here. You came from somewhere else. You came from out there. So I consumed your dead heart, and I carried it in my throat, and I draped what was left of you on my back, and I threw myself against that door. She stops, her muscles tensing around you, and through the muffling layers of her flesh, you hear the whine of straining metal. And with a pop, she lurches forward, your body lurching right along with her. Her chains. She's loose. But even then, it denied me freedom. 
You cannot fool me by draping yourself in decay. I know your true nature, and it is suffering. Gravity pulls at you as you're hefted upwards, the distant creaking of ancient wooden steps barely audible over the thudding of the princess's heart. And then it was gone, and I was here. A new enclosure, a nicer cage, but still a prison. I learn from my wounds. You're alive now. We can leave together. Does that work? Could she free herself if we're alive in here? Do you really need me to give you a definitive answer for you to understand that the situation is grim? Stop her. Do something. You still have that steel claw. Tear through her before we are her. Survive. Or we could use it to make this quick for ourselves. If she needs us in order to leave, we could at least deny her that. Mm. That is a bad thing to do. Okay, we need to save. Okay. Leave with the steel claw. Slay screw you, slay yourself. Uh, let's dig with the steel claw. Though you have little room to move, you use what strength you can muster to drive the blade forward into the thick walls of tissue digesting you. I can feel you tearing through me, but are you swift enough for it to matter? Yes. Your body is violently jostled, the disruption causing burning skin to slop from raw muscle, and you hear what you can only assume is the princess pulling against the door to the cabin. The cage is still locked. Dig with the steel claw. You slice again, deeper rooting through her meat with the tip of your blade, until at last, it finds her beating heart. The pulling returns to banging as the princess desperately throws everything at the cabin door. Your flesh screams as your reddened, spongy body is hit with fresh waves of blistering acid. You can't hold me forever. Well, if anything, you're the one who can't hold me forever. Right, slay the princess. Though your body is dissolving, eroding into unrecognizable shapes, your will drives it forward. You have a target, and you will strike it. Yes. We're too late, aren't we? This isn't survival. This is spite. <laughs> no, it's something better. It's fulfilling a noble destiny. Your lone, functioning arm lashes out, stabbing up towards the princess's heart. So you found a way to kill me. Then we'll die together, and I will see you again soon. With those prophetic words, you do not draw another breath. Your body tangled and melting in the cooling folds of the princess's flesh. Everything goes dark, and you die. But at least you've saved the world. I hope. <laughs> the wild? Why? Hold on. We are a path in the woods. Um. I guess I don't need to do this. Uh. That. Slay yourself. In an act of spiteful defiance, you pull your weapon to your throat, your shaking, ulcerous hand clenched tight around its hilt. And then you draw it across your bubbling veins. Your blood flows out, filling the tiny space inside the princess. You start to fade. A waste of a good life. <laughs> it's better than giving in to her. Yeah. But in the end, the opinions of stray voices mean little in the grand scheme of things. Everything goes dark. And, and you, you die. die. Again with the wild. What the fuck? Hey, Akira, how you doing? Bro, what the fuck is this? We are a path in the woods. I've already done this. Uh, this is, uh, say the princess. Uh, and what haven't I done yet? 
I guess. Wait for her to strike and hit her back. This isn't going to work. We're in her domain. We just have to stay alive. If we keep dodging her forever, we're going to get tired. We're going to slip up. We have to take a risk. As the princess lunges from the shadows once more, the titan will open the blade and lash out. It strikes, cutting deep, and the princess loses her focus, crying out in pained surprise as she crashes into you. I'm good, how about you? I'm good. Your sense sprawling and can already feel the massive bruise blossoming on your ribs as she scrambles back into the darkness. Mm, I just woke up. Ha, look at that. We wounded her. And she wounded us. Bad trade. That hurts. Bad trade. Are you just the cornered animal you seem to be? Or could you be a rival? It's the law of equivalent exchange. That's why she's the chimera from Full Metal Alchemist. She rears back, then leaps at you, more forceful, more ferocious, more serious. The scuffle is brief, and though you inflict a few deep wounds, you find yourself quickly overwhelmed by her savagery. You to the floor, and she wastes no time before pouncing on you in a flurry of claws and blood, your nerves barely able to keep up with the onslaught. Are you shooting for so long? Uh, because I'm an idiot. That's By why. the end, you're lying in a nest of your own intestines, spine severed, blood rapidly draining out onto the jungle floor. The princess, drenched in both her blood and yours, idly prods your body. No, oh, that's it then. Cornered animal it was. Do better next time. I still need to devour you. And it doesn't count if you're dead. Jelly sleep good. Uh, I slept decently enough. Well, we're not dead. We're. But you don't have time to protest her <laughs> premature observation of your death, because everything goes dark, and you die. Of course. There we go. The den. You're on a path in the. Yeah. We are, and this time we're not gonna run until we die. We're taking her head on and we're winning. I love this guy. You felt her. She didn't have a soft underbelly. She didn't have blind spots. What could we have done that would have saved us from her hunger? When someone tries to make you dead, you have to hit them back. You have to show them your authority. There's nothing worse than a bully that thinks they own you. Oh, so why is your name... Right, if you're green. Uh, if you check uh, my channel, there should be a clip about that. But basically, so hey. been here before, and that doesn't bode well. You're not supposed to have been here before. This is supposed to be one and done. Basically, my original artist tried to troll me. Oh, shut up! It bodes fine. You're the reason we're stuck in this shit situation. Now I have to do the hard work of dragging us out. And how do you intend to do that? We're going to fight her, and we're going to win. There's a reason she slinks around in the shadows. Well, no complaints here. Now, hold on. We're not just going to let the fact that he knows things about this whole looping situation go, are we? He's not important. He can have his secrets for all I care. She's killed us twice now, and that's enough of a reason for us to want her dead. Yeah, you're right. Okay, what's the plan? The path is different than it was before. I want answers. What's going on here? What do you know? That you're not telling me. What if we just leave? What happens then? No matter what happens next, it seems like all our answers are at the cabin. Okay, what's the plan? Like I said, we're going to fight her. But we're so small. We don't actually know how big she is. We just know she wants us to think she's big. And if she's going to treat us like prey again, then she is sorely underestimating us. One good wallop. That's all we need to put her on the defensive. The path is different than it was before. Ground is ground. It doesn't matter what shape it takes. We'll adapt. That's not... 
All right. If it looks different, that's because the situation has started to spiral out of everyone's control. So please, disavow yourself of the notion that you can just come back here and fix this place if you manage to make a mess before that line of thinking leaves you yet another world in ruin. If I can't see a PC, can I steal your heart? I mean, sure, if you want. I mean, I don't know if I even have a heart anymore, but... Though, as evidenced by you dying twice, it's safe to assume the fates of the worlds you've left behind don't concern you very much. I'm sure if you go to the deepest depths of hell, you'll probably find some sort of fragment of it. Consider this your last opportunity to make things right. For you, and for the rest of existence. But especially for you. We don't need your pep talk. I'll make sure we pull this off. I want answers. What's going on here? What do you know that you're not telling me? I've told you as much as I can without putting you at a disadvantage. If anything, I've told you too much. Like that grumbling voice said just a moment ago, you've already died by her hands twice. You shouldn't need much else in the way of motivation. What if we just leave? What happens then? Yeah, she was still there last time. I'm not so sure she can free herself without our help. Maybe not quickly, but it's inevitable. That cabin won't last forever. Well, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> you make your way down to the cabin. Your fated confrontation awaits. You know what to do. We've already been over the plan. I'm not sure that use violence counts as a plan. <laughs> it's a better plan than you had last time. I don't like this, but I'll try to keep us breathing. We're sent to the cabin. The interior is dark and overgrown. Vines and brush obscure so much of the place that, had you not seen the exterior, you might not have noticed this was a cabin at all. The only furniture of note, if you could call it that, is a knotted stump. A pristine blade embedded in its exposed rings. Red, are you Kawaii chan or Ni chan date by your Nanikun? What? Uh, I don't know. Would, would you. St why am I smiling? Get that smug smile off your face. Why does it keep doing that? Uh. I don't know, you tell me. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. Take it. We're not fighting a monster without a blade. Even if it's not a very big one. Great. That mirror's back. And it's where the door is supposed to be. What are you talking about? There is no mirror. It's just the stump and a narrow tunnel that leads to the basement. He isn't tricking us. Can you feel the wind? It's telling us there's a hole in that wall. Our eyes deceive us. Where you smile? I mean, it's more of like, for some reason, my model keeps like defaulting to to smile, even though like it shouldn't. Cause wait, unless hold on. Oh, I see what it is. Okay, I found out why. Basically, one of the buttons on my mouse equates to the F3 key. Uh, and apparently there isn't any other button to... Okay, well I'm gonna need to change the keybinds. If that mirror's blocking our way, just smash it and be done with it. Don't be emo. All right, here you go. Here's a smile for you. Uh, also, uh, get that out of here. Uh, I mean, nothing much happens when you don't take the blade. At least in the third chap, in like the third chapters. Take the blades. Take the steel claw. You pull the blade from the stump, gripping it tight. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Or actually, maybe... Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, sure. This face works. 
Good. One step closer to ending this. First Amera. You step forward, approaching the small hole that leads to the basement, hesitating before you enter the princess's lair. You heard him. Stop hesitating and smash that antique. That mirror isn't part of this place. It's seeped through from somewhere else. It, if there even is an it, is a hallucination. Like you said, you've been here twice before. Your mind was bound to start playing tricks on you eventually. <laughs> it's so grimy. Maybe we can wipe it clean and finally get a look at ourselves. How tall are you? Are you sure? Uh, last time I checked, my height was like four years ago. Five? No, four years ago. And I think at the, I was five six back then. So yeah, I should be like around there. Uh, smash! I mean that. Smash it. You bring your fist crashing down into the open hole leading to the basement, throwing yourself off balance and tumbling headlong into the pitch black. If there were once stairs leading into the basement, there is nothing left to attest to their existence now. There is only a long tunnel of packed earth, growing more narrow as you descend. It smells of mold and decay. The damp walls leave streaks of dirt along your body as you're forced to hunch, then finally squat down on all fours in order to continue. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I thought I'd just say you were. Um, I don't know. Probably haven't grown much, so probably around 5'7 or 5'8. As you crawl forward on hands and knees, you're met only with the sounds of ambient earth. No voice slinks confidently up the stairs. No entity threatens violence or pleads for safety. Stay quiet. Don't give her a sound. We have unfinished business. We should talk. We don't have to fight Amri to let you out of here. We don't have to fight Amri to get out of here. What if I lie? Say nothing and suddenly proceed down the stairs. Sure. The princess leaves your remark unanswered. Okay, not just at all. See, she knows we have to be like her. Focused. Present. We're past the point of words anyway. This is a conversation that can only be had with hard steel and sharp teeth. You put the voices to the back of your mind and proceed down the stairs. The basement is dark and cavernous, a gaping maw threatening to swallow you whole. There is no light here, save for what little starlight has managed to filter down the tunnel. And though you can't see the vastness of the space, you can feel it. You're exposed. It doesn't matter if we can't see down here. We know where she is. Staying quiet, are we? We don't have to do this. Step in the shadows, ready to fight. Step in the shadows and try to lure her out. Okay. Staying quiet, are we? She doesn't respond. I assume that means her answer is... Yes. Also, I'm seeing, like... <laughs> uh, alright. Step into the shadows, right to fight. You step into the shadows and are enveloped in total darkness. Your heart pounds in your chest, ears pricked, eyes wide despite the inky blackness, waiting for any sign of movement. Like your streams because no one else did. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, I'm used to it. There, she's about to strike. With the near silence of a determined predator, the princess erupts from the shadows. Okay, this is an abomination. What the fuck? Your, your blade, its tip intercepting her before she can draw first blood. 
She recoils, stunned for a brief moment. Remember when this thing was a princess? See, I told you. We needed to assert our might. We needed to prove to her that she can bleed too. She'll doubt her every move now. <laughs> I love this thing. Ferocity than before. I couldn't hear the narrator. It wasn't wrong. Within that ferocity, there is also hesitation. Not much, but enough. I couldn't even hear the narrator. <laughs> she was growling so fucking loudly. Yeah, the yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get what the fucking guy is. I still don't get what a fucking guy is. Uh, you want a kiss? No. Not a word is spoken between you and the princess as you exchange blows in the dark. The glint of bloody claws and fangs, the flash of wet steel. In the pit, all of your senses are heightened, each injury oh, stinging like a chorus of insects, each small shift in your favor, a major victory that swells your heart. Fight. So successfully, successfully take a fight, and I couldn't read it in time. Shit. Not that type of kiss, idiot. What, what kind of kiss? I don't even know. And I don't know. Still no. But he doesn't respond. Eyes glance at you from the untextured threads of a world unraveled. Am I free? They ask. Hershey kiss? What the fuck is that? But you do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Oh! It's like a chocolate. Ah. I see. I don't know, we don't got those here, so. Or maybe we do, I don't know. I haven't been outside in a long time. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Are you living under a rock? Um, I'm living under... Yeah, kind of. And there's that mirror and why is it here? Why now? I mean, more than a rock, it's more like a boulder. <laughs> Approach the mirror. Approach the mirror. You've unraveled. You're at the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I'm curious to see what it means for us to know it. Um, do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is consumed by instinct. A predator pushing those around her to adapt. She will make for a bold heart. Yes, she will. She wishes me to devour you, to make you a part of myself. But she is only a voice. Do not mourn her, for she is part of something greater. Okay. I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I suppose so. I will be here, waiting for you. Everything goes dark, and you die. Uh, a wordless vessel. Bring the dent to her. Okay. Load, uh, I guess this. Step into the shadows, ready to fight. Oh, actually, we don't have to do this. She doesn't respond. It seems that she thinks you do, in fact, have to do this. I guess so. Step into the shadows and try to lure her out. You step into the shadows and are enveloped in total darkness. Your heart pounds in your chest, ears pricked, eyes wide despite the inky blackness. 
waiting for any sign of movement. Okay. And what? You're gonna turn around the second she runs for us? You'll get us killed, you pathetic fool! There, she's about to strike. With the near silence of a determined predator, the princess erupts from the shadows. But you've already started your swift escape. Stop it! Fight her! The conflict in your heart, though usually of little consequence, slows you down just enough. You don't make it into the tunnel before you feel her hot breath at your back, rushing up your spine and closing in on your neck as her teeth press into your skin. Narrator? Again. No. I was... But death doesn't come. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Uh, approach the mirror. Wait, actually, no. I should probably just reset now, because... Find yourself in the long quiet again. Alright, it's gonna be the same. So, uh, load... Alright, let me see real quick. What am I missing? Okay. So... This. Okay. Right. Um. All right. Don't take the blade. Steve, our guest. She's been paid. You care for the last. The jungle is pressing in. On you see only a flash of the princess before she scurries away into the underbrush, dragging her heavy chain behind her. Remember, she's just a princess. She is certainly not just a princess. You're not helping. It doesn't matter what she is. It only matters what she does. Her shining eyes appear between the leaves, staring hungrily at you from the darkness. I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. You're right to be terrified. I'm so much more than you. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you upright. The air's shifting. She's getting ready to pounce. Move, now. Um... Yeah, move. You lunge to the side, picking a direction on instinct. As you land, you're buffeted by a gust of air, disturbed by the sudden motion of a massive body. The princess. In an instant, she's pounced on the spot where you would have been, her chains rattling across the floor behind her. Before you can blink, she's gone, vanishing once more into the shadows. But you still feel her gaze on you. You're faster than you were before, but you're still meek, reactive, prey. You whirl around to find her, and your gaze meets hers, a pair of shining eyes peering out at you from just beyond the basement stairs. So she's cut off our escape. Shit. What do we do? Alright, um, run for the uh... Stop hiding and show yourself. If you want to see me, you should get better at seeing. That's a fair she point. She that her strength lies in shadows and secrets. She won't reveal herself unless she has to. <sighs> I'll send... I was sent to kill you because you're a threat to the world. I'm starting to believe that's true. You're deflecting. And you bear your weakness to the world. She's coiling for another strike. Be somewhere else. We're on the back foot. The back foot keeps us nimble. Keeps us alive. It doesn't matter if it keeps us alive if it eventually kills us. We need to take back the momentum. We need to do something. 
Okay, survive, play dead, stand still. Um, on. I don't really need this anymore. Alright. Um, survive. That's the only one I haven't tried actually. Jungle, barely moving out of the way before the princess surges past you with a speed that makes her practically unseen. I don't think I can keep this up. What do you want? We don't have to kill each other. What if I help you? What if we left together? Uh well done. Um. I guess run for the yes. stairs. Now's our chance. Quick. Right, I agree. We can't do anything without a weapon. We can regroup once we're armed and try to figure out a better plan. Don't plan ahead. Act on the now. All that matters is that we stay alive. As you turn to sprint for the stairs, you feel the air shift. You instinctively glance behind you just in time to see the princess lunge from the shadows, more unhinged and dripping, eyes fierce and full of hunger. She is too quick to outrun, too nimble to outmaneuver, too determined to overpower. This is her domain. You are devoured. Wait. I guess that's it then, isn't it? Wait. Move and shout into. Okay, I think I did something wrong. Alright. Survive. Barely moving out of the way before the princess I'm thinking surge. This you up. have to. We at least have to make an opening. What do you want? I want to swallow you whole. That's what she said. And I will get what I want. You have no exit. You have no hope. You live and die by my whims. And my whims alone. Sure. Don't ask her what she wants. Just go back to the blade upstairs and slay her. Is that all the advice you have? We don't even know what she looks like. Some specifics would be very helpful. We know what she She's looks like. She's just a princess. Don't overthink it. She is clearly not. A tickling sensation rises at the base of your neck. You are the most useless narrator I've ever seen. And that's coming from someone who played Little Misfortune. Flee. We can't keep doing this. Stay alive, maybe? Hold on. Um... Sure, stay alive. Or maybe she's a little faster. You avoid her slavering jaws, but she manages to graze you, her titanic momentum skinning you along your side. It's like being sideswiped by sandpaper. How is she that fast? You're bleeding now. You instinctively touch your side, testing her claim. It's wet, and stings from the gentle touch of your fingertips. A costly mistake. We can't make it again. We will make it again unless something changes. We have to break the pattern. We need more time. She's cutting off our escape. Our game is nearing its end. I suppose it is. Why do you want to kill me? Does anything kill anything else? She needs to. <laughs> I didn't say I wanted to kill you. It sounds like she wants to do something even worse. Yep. What she wants only matters if she wins, and you're not going to let that happen. She's more tense this time. She means this next blow to be the last. The mere thought of moving again makes your bloodied side ache. We're exhausted. We're bleeding. We're still alive. We owe it to ourselves to move. Again. Once again, you know you the full force of the impact, and once again, you are too slow to come away unscathed. You're starting to get tired. You're making mistakes. 
This isn't working. We have to do something. We have to figure out a plan. Don't plan ahead. Act on the now. All that matters is that we stay alive. We're trying, but we can't keep this up much longer. We have to. We keep up or we die. You're getting slow. A little bit. Oh, hi. She seizes the opportunity, lunging once again from the darkness, fangs bared and claws flashing. She attacks over and over and over, and each time she leaves with a little piece of you. Too tired to think, but we have to think. We have to move. It's too late. Before you get the chance to react, it's over. She makes her last foray from the dark corners of the room, unhinging her dripping maw. Her eyes fierce and full of hunger. Do your best to dive out of the way and can't keep this up forever. Partially succeed. Dodge it, creature, until you can't dodge it any longer. Partially? Yes. The princess fails to swallow you whole. Oh. She only swallows your lower body. Oh. That's just as bad. That's worse, even. It's death either way. At least this will be a faster end. You look down to see that the dirt between you is strewn with your intestines, trailing all the way up and disappearing behind her blood-stained teeth. Your legs are nowhere to be seen. You start to go into shock. The princess, bloody saliva dripping from her lips, idly gnaws on what's left of you as you rapidly fade away. I didn't mean to do that. I still need to devour you. And it doesn't count if you're dead. Well, we're not dead. We're... Dead. But you don't have time to protest her premature observation of your death. Because everything goes dark. And, and you, you die. die. The den again. Okay. Um... Hold on. Uh, I think I saw something that... load this yeah, actually I'm just here to chat haven't we talked enough do you really have anything else to say or are you just stalling because you're scared I'm going to kill you again all right fine I believe you what what you said earlier in the woods I believe you Already met the princess, and you don't. Uh, of course I'm. Hey. Just because it bothers you, I'm going to take this even less seriously. You don't know. You don't know the depth, the depths of my apathy. Yeah. You're joking, right? <laughs> I'm just going to pretend that you're joking. Yeah, even better. Yeah, you better be joking. We can't win unless you take this seriously I'm actually here to free you free her you want I don't know why I'm even bothering to be honest you know the stakes of the situation who says I want to be free you want to be free me anyone why wouldn't you want to be free Remain silent. Are you really just gonna not say anything to that? If she doesn't want to leave, doesn't this whole situation just work out for everyone? There's nothing out there for me. The only thing I care about is right here. All I want is to keep knowing what it feels like to kill you and be killed by you. I want to feel that knife slit me open. I want to feel your bones snap beneath my fists. I think I'll just... Let the princess speak for herself here. <laughs> Leaving her in the basement isn't an answer. You have to make a choice. And there's only one choice worth making. Fight her. Win. Um... Uh 
I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. You haven't decided? We talked more than enough last time. Do you really have anything else to say? Or are you just stalling because you're scared I'm going to kill you? If you want to talk, I guess I can talk. But you should come a little closer first. That's clearly a trap. You look different. Aside from your empty hands, you look exactly the same. So you do remember me. No, I remember you all right. Best three minutes of my life. So, why don't we do it again? Or are you scared I'm going to put you down for good this time? Are you just going to let her talk to us like that? We're not scared. Uh, hold on. I think my position on violence in this situation is already more than clear, but you really shouldn't let yourself be goaded so easily. There's more at risk in this encounter than your fragile ego. <laughs> I agree. If we're gonna fight her, we need a weapon. I'm not saying I'm not here to fight. But the two of us have a few things to unpack for us, like how we're both still alive. What is there to unpack? I was dead and now I'm not, and the same goes for you. There. Unpacking done. Don't you get it? We've been given free reign to wail on each other. Forever. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm always up for a good fight. In fact, the only reason why I came down here without a weapon is because I felt having a knife was unfair. Uh, yeah. Then why are you just standing there? Fight me. Fine, let's do this. Attack unarmed. I don't know what happened to you since the last time, but I'm not finding a giant demon lady fly. Step closer. You take a cautious step towards the princess. Unarmed. I wish I could believe you know what you're doing, but you clearly don't. <laughs> you stop a few feet short of her reach, her chains taut as she stares down at you. She's a lot bigger than I thought she was. Why do you sound so scared? We can take her. Well, what do you want? Because every second we waste talking is a second we could spend killing each other instead. I suppose. Why do you want us to kill each other? Why wouldn't I want that? Why don't you want that? It felt good last time. <laughs> it felt right. And it makes sense. As it does. Can we just, I don't know, spar a little? Maybe there's a compromise where we can all get what we want. Nobody has to die and the world doesn't have to end. Sparring? That's just play fighting. It isn't real. What's real is when my flesh splits open. What's real is when you keep getting up until your legs can't hold you. What's real are the things we do to each other when the only options left are winning and dying. That is the only thing I'm interested in. If all you want to do is fight me, doesn't that mean you won't end the world? The world? <laughs> if there's a world, I haven't seen it. There's you, and there's me, and there's the ground beneath our feet. Why would I care about ending something I've never seen? So you're just fine locked away in here? You really don't want to be free? Here you go again, talking about my freedom. The princess glances down at her chains. If you're talking about these, they're nothing. She steps forward, her bindings creaking under the pressure of her strength. And then they snap. It was only a matter of time, but she's loose. Dear Lord, w w what do we do? 
Oh, if only there was some sort of weapon you could use <laughs> to fight a world-ending monstrosity. <laughs> I wonder where you'll find one of those. <laughs> Just do exactly what I've been telling you to do since the second we got here. Take the blade, fight her, kill her, and win. What? Did you think you were safe standing right outside my grasp? The only reason I haven't drawn blood is because I want to make sure that your heart is in it. I don't like fighting someone with a weak spirit. But go ahead. Keep trying my patience. What happened after you died? I woke up. Didn't you? Oh, yeah. You don't have any wounds. You're different. You don't have any wounds. You don't either. Yeah, you're right. You're different. I know. You already told me. I, I guess, yeah. The basement is different. I like it. It's so cramped. Like the only way out of here is through each other. Or we could just walk single file out of here. That's right. Not everything has to be so violent. <laughs> That's pathetic. I would never do that, and I hate that you even suggested it. Doesn't any of this bother you? Don't you care about what? You, don't you care about what you are? I care, okay? I guess I just care differently than you. When I saw you come back down here, I thought you would understand. I thought that we would want the same thing. But all you've done is ask me annoying little questions. It's like you don't even want to enjoy being alive. Oh, I wish you could hear me right now. I want to enjoy being alive. I want to fight. You heard that. We have to figure out why we're here. We don't. Because I know why we're here. We're here to kill each other. We're here to kill each other? It sounds like she doesn't care if she dies here. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. How boring. I'm not interested in watching you try and outwit her. I'm interested in overpowering her. We shouldn't need to use any dirty little tricks to win. I don't mean why are we I don't mean why we are here externally. I mean quite literally why are you in this basement? Who sent me here to kill you? Why me? Why you? There are answers out of uh there are answers out there and we need to find them. And then what? I'm still going to want to coat these walls in our blood. I know what I am. I don't need answers. We were put down here for a reason. I was sent to kill you for a reason. Don't you care what that reason is? I don't need to care, because I already know what I am. I've already found my purpose. The princess flashes a sinister grin. You. Does she mean her purpose is killing us? No, she means fighting us. She means both of us getting stronger through sheer pain and will. The fear of death no longer able to hold us back. Just go and pick up the blade already. I'm sick of all this anticipation. We're ready. Uh, no. I'm not going to fight you. What are you trying to do? Do you think pacifism is going to win her over? Because it won't. Right? This isn't fun, <laughs> this isn't interesting, it's pathetic and cowardly and boring. Is that so? Let's see if you still feel that way once I start beating you. You stand your ground as the princess thunders across the basement floor, her shoulders tucked low as her fierce, unblinking gaze locks onto yours. You don't see the impact, and you can't say for sure if you even feel it, but you hear your bones splinter. You can feel your feet leave the floor as you're hurled bodily into the unflinching stone wall. We're fine. Are we fine? Are we really? <laughs> no, you're obviously not fine. <laughs> your body is broken. Enough games. Go upstairs, pick up that knife, and fight me. I can't get up. Stop moping, you're fine. Now get up. What are you made of? Tissue paper? I didn't hit you that hard. 
You might as well just kill me because you're not going to change my mind. Is this a trick? Are you tricking me? Because why would you? Why wouldn't you? The princess's shoulders tense with fury as she storms towards you. You can see her face flush, her knuckles going white as she clenches her fists, her entire body trembling with a burning rage. Can't believe you're making me watch this. Fine. If you want to die like a pathetic little worm, you can die like a pathetic little worm. I guess I'll see you all next time. <laughs> She reaches down and grabs you by the throat, lifting your limp form and slamming it forcefully against the wall. Her eyes twitch as her grip tightens around your neck. She sure is taking her time, isn't she? Why? Why are you letting me do this? Why are you making me do this? Why won't you fight back? Because death doesn't matter anymore, does it? Fighting it... Fighting, not fighting. What is... Any of it mat? Uh, what does any of it matter if all if it all ends the same? Because there's more to this than just fighting each other. Letting you kill me is how I can show you that it. If if letting you kill me is how I can show you that, then it's worth it. I care about you and I don't want to hurt you anymore. I just think it's kind of funny. Um. What is that supposed to mean? If you cared about me, you'd fight me. You'd understand, but why are you trying to make me think? Her grip hardens. But you feel a horrific pop in your neck. She releases you, your numb body crumpling to the stone floor as your vision starts to fade. What am I supposed to do without you? I guess I'll see you all next time. I can say that now, right? We're dead? I can't wait to be stuck in this useless body all over again. I won't be seeing you, but I suppose something like me will. Everything goes dark. And you die. And you die. Uh, smash me down. Unleash the power of pacifism on your foe. Uh, alright. Next one is the fury, which I've already done. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me try... Loading this. If you weren't so damned afraid of what she'd do to you, we wouldn't have died back there. Fear is good. Fear keeps us alive. We died because you didn't have enough of it. So what? You'd have us cower in a corner? No, but that place suits her better than it suits us. She's big. We can't hope to find holes and openings down there. We need more room if we're going to survive. Are you suggesting luring her into the woods? Do you have any idea how dangerous that would be? If you lose sight of her, if she manages to slip away, that's it. Game over for everyone, yourself included. Are you not challenging us on all the looping? Have you known about it the whole time? Are you the same one we've been talking to since the beginning? Sorry to disappoint what I'm sure must feel like a grand revelation but that's not what's going on here. We've never met. Uh. Then what is going on? What's going on is that you'd only be saying the things you've been saying if you'd already been here, and if you'd already seen things you weren't supposed to have seen. It doesn't matter. We could go in circles forever. I don't like staying still for too long. Let's get to the cabin. See this through. It's good to know that at least one of you is still capable of reason. We may have the same destination, but we're not the same. You are still an other, and I don't trust you. 
Well, fortunately, you have an entire trip through the woods to reconsider that. <laughs> There's nothing to reconsider. We're all for violence here. <laughs> Are we? I haven't signed off on anything yet. Violence is the answer here, but the method is equally important to the act. You can't let her leave the cabin. It's like I said, all just circles. Instinct tells me we need space, and I trust instinct. Nothing else to say. Okay, um, suddenly proceed to the cabin. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up the hill at the cabin. I hope you've no last advice for what I- I don't, I don't care anymore. Alright, proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is suffocatingly tight, more of a glorified tunnel than a building. Its stone walls squeeze against your sides, leaving you no choice but to press forward. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. See? Take it. First the mirror. To use all this Wipe the mirror. Reach forward and drag your hand across the door leading to the basement. As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the floor as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? It was in our way, uh, and now it's not. Sure. That's all that matters. Uh, and yeah. you is what may as well be a sheer cliff face the air hissing up from below her voice do you have more fight in you than last time that was such a disappointing show i know you can do better than that go to her rile her up if she's angry she'll make mistakes um i know you can get out of here can get out there on your own. But that wouldn't be fun. I don't want to be a monster chasing you down. I want to face you head on. I want an equal. It's so much better that way. We need to get closer. She needs to see us. Start the difficult journey, gripping the stone, lowering yourself foot by grueling foot. But soon, there is solid ground beneath you. Remember every crack and crevice. You'll need to be faster than her. You turn to face what lies at the end of the narrow tunnel. The princess, imposing and tightly muscled, grins back at you from the darkness. Her face droops. I just realized I actually can't. If you weren't so fierce, no. Then what's that's good? Well, as I'll. Okay, I I remembered that actually. She kills you with the knife if you don't pick it up. So. The end of blade. Take. Okay, take the blade. You take the good. Push the mirror. You step all this man. You reach forward. What? It was in the air of the goat. Are you sure you still want to fight? Dead certain. Everything inside of me screams for it. We need to get closer. She needs to see us to give chase. You've nowhere to go but down. You start the difficult journey, gripping the stone, lowering yourself foot by grueling foot. But soon, there is solid ground beneath you. Remember every crack and crevice. You'll need to be faster than her. You turn to face what lies at the end of the narrow tunnel. The princess, imposing and tightly muscled, grins back at you from the darkness. Her face widens into a broad grin. There you are. 
knife in hand. How thrilling. Attack me, bleed me, twist the blade in my flesh. Break your bones against my body. I want a real challenge this time. We can't get that close. She'll kill us in the tight space, steel claw or not. Make her come to us, stand beyond her chains, and let her become frenzied. She'll break them. Then we run. I really don't like the sound of this. It's the only way we live. Well, what are you waiting for? If we're gonna do this right, you can't be scared. You need to want this as much as I do. So go on. Make the first move. Don't keep me waiting. Let's talk, uh, hold on. Let's talk about it first. We can always fight when we're done, but I have questions. I want to know what happened after you killed me. We've talked plenty. I'm sick of talking. I'm sick of waiting. I'm sick of you standing just out of reach and teasing me with a fight you won't let me have. You disappointed me last time, so you don't get to choose what happens next. Fair. Bloody desire in her eyes, the princess rushes forward, ignoring her chains as they bend and snap. Run. Without hesitation, you turn back the way you came and scramble up the ledge towards the tunnel entrance. As you near the top, hands desperately clawing at jagged stone, you glance back. The princess is right on your heels. She doesn't bother to scale the wall as you do, instead digging deep into the rock of the cliff face with her fingertips in her rabbit pursuit. Anywhere you go, I will follow. Good. You reach the ledge and hoist yourself up into the tunnel, the cabin door finally in sight, at once within your grasp and infinitely distant. What is all of this for? What's the point? You and I are always going to end in violence, so why bother to run? I know what I am. Why can't you be the same? Little bird, little bird, where do you think you're going? We're almost there. Almost. We're there when we're there. <laughs> and we'll take the fight with us. <laughs> Your skin hums tight with adrenaline as you burst through the cabin door and roll onto the grass. You glance back at the cabin as the princess, singular in her desire to destroy you, explodes through the doorway. You are walking a dangerous path. If you waver once, it's all over. So get it right. There's nothing left to slow me down. Do you think this is better for you? Do you think this space gives you an edge? Then show me. Show me that you've been worth all the room you've taken up in my head. Do it. Be swift, strike true, be where she's not. Let your body move you. Are you sure you want to do this? You're free now. And now here I have the upper hand, but we don't have to fight. The princess scoffs. Free? This is just another place. This is just... What is this? Where are we? This doesn't feel right. It's... It's cold. Why is it so cold? I feel so... Tired. Oh. The blind leading the blind. Free someone who doesn't want to be freed. Do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Oh, um, yeah, just, uh... Alright, never mind. Um... Approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Proceed to the cabin. Approach her. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. 
To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Uh, what do you think of this vessel? This one yearns to grow and struggle. Even now, I feel a will pushing against mine, not realizing that we are one. She will make for a fierce heart. Do not mourn her. We will provide her with the growth she fought for. I to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. My thing goes dark and you die. Okay. Let me load this again. And say the princess. You leap from the grass and bound towards the princess, keeping low. Charging me head on. Brave and foolish. Her body braces for impact, anticipating the clash. That's where you're both wrong. Left, now. As the princess strikes, your body swerves to the left. She overextends, stumbling as her balance shifts unexpectedly. Strike. Before you can finish the thought, you lash out, the blade slicing through her leg. She turns to swing again. Right. You move out of the way, but this time it's not quite as clean. You can feel a bruise already blooming where her elbow crashed into flesh. It's nothing. A scratch. Yes, it could be worse. And you managed to gift her another cut in return. I'll be damned. We're actually gonna pull this off, aren't we? You just might. But don't let it get to your head. Not until it's over. Yes, finally! This is the hole I felt in my heart. This is what I've needed. This is what I've been missing. This is how it always needed to end. Both of us giving it our all, beating and bleeding each other to death. The two of you engage in a devastating flurry of blows, each of you wounding the other again and again. She's stronger, but you're faster. And the deeper the both of you fall into your lethal dance, the more your edge shines over hers. She's slowing down, blood pouring from wounds, splattering at her feet, leaving her weak and unsteady. More! Keep going! We can't stop! Now! You spy an opening, but this time she's waiting for you. She lets you sink the blade deep, trapping you in place long enough to wrap you in her impenetrable arms. You're slammed to the ground. Nothing! These blows are nothing to us! But her gambit wasn't enough to close the gap. It wasn't enough to kill you. She stares you down, coughing up a splash of blood as she gasps for breath. <laughs> You've outplayed me, haven't you? Guess so. Something feels wrong. Something. And? Oh, fuck. A wide opening field. A wide open field. Lord and enemy to an advantageous terrain and win. She's gone. Okay, well, um. You've fallen right into my trap. Oh, we'll see about that. Traps aren't real. The only thing that's real is bloodshed. She charges, fully determined to end you in a single move. Left, now. As the princess strikes, your body swerves to the left. She overextends, stumbling. Strike. Before you can it's fight, the you same. move out of the way, but this time it's nothing. Yes, we're at you just might. Yes. Yeah, it's the it's same. Okay. Uh, also, let's just sound effects. All right. Thank you. Um. Okay, hold on. Um. I'm seeing one that I didn't do for. Yeah, there's one that I didn't do for uh, the beast. Not this. Why is that? Uh.
to invest my own life. That's two questions. You know, be able to survive or keep this by soul all the time. Wait, what? Uh, where is it? Do I not have? I guess this. Move. You land to the side, picking a direction on instinct. As you land, you're... in an instant she's pounced before you can blink, she's gone. You're faster than you were before. You whirl around to find her, so she's cut. Hey. Uh. I was sent here to kill you because you're a threat to the world. I'm starting to believe that's true. Love them. You've given up the game. Great. All that would do is hasten her victory. So many useless thoughts run through your head. Thinking, thinking, thinking. You'll never hurt me if you keep thinking. I suppose not. You don't have to kill each other. What if I helped you? What if we left together? You cannot reason your way out of this, fledgling. There's no compromise with what I am. At least she's upfront about her intentions. She's coiling for another strike. Be somewhere else. We're on the back foot. The back foot keeps us nimble, keeps us alive. It doesn't matter if it keeps us alive, if it eventually kills us. We need to take back the momentum. We need to do something. Um. Don't think I need this anymore, right? From the thorns. Um. Survive. Barely moving out of the way before the princess surges past you with a speed that makes her practically unseen. What do you want? Oh wait, no. Uh, you're deflecting. And you bear your weakness to the world. Stop hiding and show If yourself. you want to see me, you should get better at seeing. She knows that her strength are tickling. Flee, we can't. Um. Stay alive. You want to explore this Or maybe she's a little faster. You avoid her slavering jaws, but she manages to graze you, her titanic momentum skinning you along your side. It's like being sideswiped by sandpaper. How is she that fast? You're bleeding now. You instinctively touch your side, testing her claim. It's wet and stings from the gentle touch of your fingertips. A costly mistake. We can't make it again. We will make it again unless something changes. We have to break the pattern. We need more. Our game is nearing its end. You have to. We at least have to make an opening. She's more tense this time. She means this next blow to be the last. The mere thought of moving again makes your bloodied side ache. We're exhausted. We're bleeding. We're still alive. We owe it to ourselves to move. Once again, you have to the full force of the impact. And once again, you are too slow to come away unscathed. You're starting to get tired. You're making mistakes. This isn't don't plan with we have. You're getting slow. She seizes the opportunity, lunging once again from the darkness, fangs bared and claws flashing. She attacks over and over and over, and each time she leaves with a little piece of you. Too tired to think, but we have to think. We have to move. It's too late. The princess, or we're not, but you don't. I don't know why I read through all of that. That didn't work. We're going in with a plan this time. We're not getting stuck in another loop, just acting on instinct. 
we're stuck in a big enough loop as it is. Instinct was keeping us alive until it wasn't. Mm -hmm. So what are we supposed to do? Great. So you've been here before. That doesn't bode well. You're not supposed to have been here before. This is supposed to be one and done. So you know more than you're letting on. Yeah, what he said. Of course I do, but believe me, it's in your best interests. The more you know about the princess, the more difficult your task will be. Why is that? Having me explain why would defeat the whole purpose. There are simply some things I'm not allowed to tell you. It's a hard rule. And whose rule is it? Who's telling you to boss us around? We've died twice already, and if you want us to stay alive this time, it's in your best interests to give us an edge. It's my rule, and this conversation is over. Alright. Let's proceed to the cabin. You make your sweet wolf fan of it. She switch with and put you yeah push. Proceed into the cabin. The interior is dark and the only the what he then eat. Alright, uh approach Demera. You really the steel have that is wipe the mirror clean. Regency. No, you step forward if it's as you step the pussy. She knows. We have to be I suppose it'll take a little more than work. You put the voices to the back of your mind and proceed down the stairs. Okay. The basement is dark and cavernous, a gaping maw threatening to swallow you whole. There is no light here, save for what little starlight has managed to filter down the tunnel. And though you can't see the vastness of the space, you can feel it. You're exposed. Stay on your toes. We take a step into the shadows, and as soon as she moves, we jump back, make her follow. From there, we trap her in the tunnel, draw her out of the cabin, whatever it takes to get her out of her element. Then we're safe. Wait, actually, I'm an idiot. Um, I think I need to do this again. This. All right. Um, what did I do? Uh. Is it the stubborn? Approach I don't know what you're planning, but you're making my job a hell of a lot harder right now. The steel claw makes us sloppy, too confident. We'll be faster without it. You step forward, approaching the. You heard him. That mirror. It. So. Mirror, Reach please. forward and wave your hand over the open hole leading to the basement. See? Nothing. Tricks of the eye. No one sense can be trusted on its own. You step forward into the darkness. If there were once stairs leading into the basement, there is nothing left to attest to their existence now. There is only a long tunnel of packed earth, growing more narrow as you descend. It smells of mold and decay. The damp walls leave streaks of dirt along your body as you're forced to hunch, then finally squat down on all fours in order to continue. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. As you crawl forward on hands and knees, you're met only with the sounds of ambient earth. No voice slinks confidently up the stairs. No entity threatens violence or pleads for safety. Stay quiet. Don't give her a sound. Uh, say nothing and suddenly proceed down the stairs. You say nothing, maintaining the silence as you carefully make your way down into the basement. The basement is dark and cavernous, a gaping maw threatening to swallow you whole. There is no light here, save for what little starlight has managed to filter down the tunnel. And though you can't see the vastness of the space, you can feel it. You're exposed. It doesn't matter if we can't see down here. We know where she is. It would be better with a blade, but we'll make do. Then quiet, are we? Step into the shadows and lure her out. Oh, just in case. You step into the shadows and are enveloped in total darkness. Your heart pounds in your chest. 
ears pricked, eyes wide despite the inky blackness, waiting for any sign of movement. And what? You're gonna turn around the second she runs for us? You'll get us killed, you pathetic fool! There, she's about to strike. With the near silence of a determined predator, the princess erupts from the shadows. But you've already started your swift escape. Stop it! Fight her! The conflict in your heart, though usually of little consequence, slows you down just enough. You don't make it into the tunnel before you feel her hot breath at your back, rushing up your spine and closing in on your neck as her teeth press into your skin. Death. Again. Death doesn't come, Sam to leave, memory returns. She's gone. And there's... Did I? Okay. I might have done something wrong. You step into the shadows and are enveloped in total darkness. Your heart pounds in your chest, ears pricked, eyes wide despite the inky blackness waiting for any sign of movement. There, she's about to strike. We're screwed. <laughs> we can do this, even without a weapon. I'm no stranger to bloody fists. We're no strangers to bloody fists. You know the rules, and so do I. <laughs> as the princess emerges, enormous maw gaping, ready to swallow you whole. And... It doesn't respond. Eyes glance at you from the untexted threads of the world unraveled. Am I free, they ask? She's gone. Um, is there something I'm not doing? You say nothing. Maintaining the silence, the basement is done. It doesn't matter. Uh... You step into the what? There, with the near. Stop it! The conflict in your death. She's got me. I don't. Because I'm reading it here, but it doesn't.
Because you can lure her out somehow. Um... Okay, hold on. Let me try and do something. You spring to a new patch of jungle. <laughs> you have will. I don't is that she is completely calm. You're a little slightly here. You <laughs> Why does it it's watch these the boy whist? Once this don't quickly happen. You're getting just see it too far. It's a hard year. Instead, you look down to the princess. <laughs> but you don't have time. You're off the end. Suppressor, yeah. You have it. Um. Suddenly proceed to the cabin. You may squeeze the wolf and if she spent, but she's where the you, yeah. Push. Proceed to the cabin. The interior is dark. You have the body, if any. Push the mirror. Really, the steel you haven't had is. Wipe the mirror clean. Reach forward, see. You step forward. If there were words, as you stay quiet. Say nothing and proceed down the stairs. You say nothing. The big step. Step into the shadows and try to lure her out. You step into the shadows. That's right. Keep steady. Don't let your nerves get the better of you. There. She's about to strike. With the near silence of a determined predator, the princess erupts from the shadows. But you've already started your swift escape. That's stage one. Now stay focused. Wait, this is different. You dive oh. into the tunnel and begin scrambling up towards the cabin. You hear her behind you, claws raking at the dirt, chains rattling, breaths hot and heavy with the effort of the ascent. Somehow did it. Okay. The sounds are coming slower now. The there breaths we go. pained and stuttering. You no longer sense frantic motion behind you in the tunnel. You risk a glance. She is a broad and sickly creature, her withered and emaciated flesh clinging to bones too large to fit in the narrow space. She managed to squirm her way into the tunnel in pursuit, but now she's stuck, incapable of either moving towards you or returning to the open darkness of the basement below. So that's what she's become. She wasn't like this when we started. Was she? No, she wasn't. Looking at her makes me feel... sad. Yeah, now that we can see her, she doesn't feel like much of a threat at all. Her eyes look up at yours. Wide. Pleading. Come back, you can imagine them saying. Don't leave me here. No. But you shouldn't listen to the sad eyes of a vanquished enemy. She wants nothing more than to change places with you. If you want us to ignore her, then why would you tell us any of that wide, pleasing eyes begging for mercy business to begin with? All it does is make us feel conflicted. <laughs> I'm merely describing things as they are. It's not my fault that her eyes had something to say, even if that something was a ploy, which, if I might stress, I pointed out to you. Uh, what's going on here? A lot. Uh, trying to explain this whole game uh, is probably going to take just as long as it did actually playing it, so, um, hello. What should we do about her anyway? Can she still end the world like this? She hurts. We should help. I'm back, welcome back. Maybe we should try and talk to her. This is a good opportunity for information. We shouldn't waste it. That's a terrible idea. She doesn't know anything. She hasn't even said a word since you got here. My Twitch kept going off. Too many VTubers to watch? I can relate. Let's talk. Be peacefully approach the princess. 
You cautiously make your way closer to the princess, her eyes avoiding yours with the silent resignation of a defeated predator. Okay, well... I got what I needed. But you don't get the opportunity to speak to her, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Now nah, people messaging me? I keep forgetting you can message people on, di on Twitch. But like... I don't know. Do people actually use that feature? There's a world. This one is consumed by instinct. A predator pushing those around her to adapt. I'm a cat I she created. Make for a oh. bold heart. She wishes me to devour you, to make you a part of myself, but she is only a voice. Do not mourn her, for she is part of something greater. I think I only had like three people message me on, on Twitch, like total. And every time like I saw the message it was like months after they sent it to me. Because my Twitch doesn't actually notify me. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Everything goes dark and you die. Okay. Uh. By the way, if you're confused, don't be. I created a cat chat. Uh. I see. Okay, hold on. I need to just real quick check everything I've got. So, uh, I just got flight, a wide open field, the blind leading the blind, strike me down, you can't keep this up forever, a wordless vessel, fight, a hab, a possum, freeze, a wounded vessel. Hold on, let's see, so... So damsel row, loving vessel, romantic haze, an idealized vessel, live happily ever after, lady killer, burning down the house of burning vessel. I think I have all of those. Uh. Yeah. I actually, oh yeah, the nightmare. I should, that was like the first one I did, I'm pretty sure. So let's see. Monolith of Fear. No exit. Terminal velocity. Oh wait, ter yeah, terminal velocity. Seething vessel, the exorcist three, the passenger. Road of terror. A terrifying vessel, a scattered vessel, the exorcist three, uh, and the passenger. I think I, do I actually have all of them? Terminal velocity, world of terror, moment of fear, no exit, terrifying vessel, scattered vessel. Well, I have all of them. Okay. Surprisingly, that was the first one I did. God damn. Where did I go wrong? Um then so I, I did damsel and nightmare i think i just did all of the beast ones i'm pretty sure uh fight flight you can't keep this up forever ahab a possum freeze a, a wounded vessel a wordless vessel. Yeah, I got that. Fight. Flight. Yeah, okay. Have all of them. Dissolving will. A feral vessel. Then. I have. Damsel Rod, I did. Nightmare Rod, I did. 
Prisoner route, I still need to do. Fraser route, I have no idea what that is. Spectre route, I still need to do. Uh, tower route. Your obedient servant. A godly vessel. God killer, I have. An unwound vessel. Uh, do I not have an unwound vessel? The Fury. Oh, so I guess I didn't do this, uh, the God version of the Fury, so... I should probably do that. Okay. Good thing I saved. Like, good thing I saved that just in case. Oh, wait. Unless... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, no. Wait, 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 wait. Because the Fury can also be done with the... Oh, yeah, there we go. Another one vessel. So I do have that. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Because both the tower and the adversary can lead to the fury. The end of something, godly vessel, god killer, dominant vessel, you're being servant. I have all of those. Okay. So I don't need anything from the tower. Which route? Uh, okay. Okay, so... An untrusting vessel. Uh, knives out, masks off. I have that. The frog, the scorpion. I have those. Playing it safe. Got it. A wounded vessel. I have that, I'm pretty sure. The wound. An endless vessel. Uh, this is getting... Wait, you can get those from the... Oh, yeah, you can, huh. Glimpse of something bigger. Okay, fine. Uh, the wound. Do I have a glimpse of something bigger? I do not. Uh, endless vessel. Uh, I don't think I have that. I don't have an endless vessel. All right. So, I guess I need to do some more things with. Oh, hi, Sai. How you doing? Sorry, I wasn't looking at chat. Um, the fuck is a cat chat? I have no idea. Okay, so I have to go back to this. Red. Okay, yeah, I get it. I wasn't looking at chat, motherfucker. Alright, you don't need to spam the chat, alright? Jesus, give me time. Fuck. Okay. Turn inward and find your freedom. I forgot to do that. A glimpse of something bigger. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't you do that. You fall inward into a network of connections too vast for your mind to occupy. Are you a path in the woods? Are you a body? Can you even grasp the fuzziest edges of the shapes that confine you? We can change to fill them together. We don't need to be everywhere. We just need to test the boundaries. You'd do best to remember that some wounds will never heal. Some rifts can never be mended. Even in rebirth, some things never come back the same. What is he going on about? What does he know about us? 
This is all too much. Why can't we just let her do as she sees fit? She's the one who can handle being vast. It's not for us. It's not for me. You aren't whole. You will never be whole again. This struggle is meaningless. Whatever you think you're doing, you will fall apart. And this sounds depressing. Yeah, it does. We don't need to be made whole. All we need to do is find a single corner of his cage and break it. There is a place you need to be. You just need to find it. You stretch and search and stretch and search, growing as you decay and decaying as you grow. As you strain beyond your limits, the ground around you becomes dry and unstable and crumbles into nothing beneath you. This place will fall apart before you find its end. This task, whatever it is you think you're doing, is impossible. All he has are Watch words, me. and words aren't real. We're real. I can hold us together for a little while longer, so long as you trust me. Of course we do. To the ends of the earth. I trust you. Find the way out. You won't find anything if I have to starve you. If I have to sacrifice my world to keep the princess at bay, I'll do it. But you do find something. It's cold and smooth. And gently buckles. Then cracks under the pressure of your consciousness. Flattening against it. Don't move an inch. Don't grow another blade of grass or harvest the remains of another dying creature so you can expand just that much further. Stop all of this. Right. Now. I think it's too late for that, mate. <laughs> I'm at your side. Shatter it and free us all. Shatter the cage. No, 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 stop! But his pleas disappear at the sound of breaking glass. For a moment, you and she gaze through the tiniest hole in the world at the place you need to be. Is this what he kept from us? Is this why he made us kill each other? I guess so. This... beautiful... We need to be there. We won't be safe until we are. We won't be whole. And then, it's gone. Where did it go? Why is everything so cold? What the hell is going to show up? But you never get the chance to answer her. You turn to see her gone behind you. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? First the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. You've unraveled. Just into the cavern. You are at the cabin. Approach her. What am I looking at? There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Uh huh. Do you know what we'll find out there? I have no idea. Mm, do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is like a shadow of me, twisting vines in search of answers. She will make. For a curious heart. Do not mourn her. She has found what she yearned for. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you, 
Each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Everything goes dark, and you die. Cool, an endless vessel. Bring the network wild to her. Yes, alright, um... Let me save. Wait, no, I need to load. Um... Okay... I think I should do the prisoner now. Unless I'm forgetting something in the... Something I've already done, hold on. So, a glimpse of something bigger. That's like Gambit, Thorny Vessel, Abandonment, Trust Issues, Turning Over a New Leaf, True Love's Kiss, hold on, I don't have this one. Okay, hold on, let's do... Let's try getting that, hold on. I love this. So. Oh wait, no. I think I'm supposed to do something with the witch. Meaning that uh, I have to go back somewhere. So. I died last time, you didn't. If anyone here shouldn't be trusted, it's you. Uh, those chains didn't stop you last time. Fine. Enter the basement with the knife. Do I have the knife? I have no idea. Is this the witch uh, place? Okay, take the blade. You take the blade. Well, if we're fast. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy. The weak her voice. Um. Say nothing. Silence, I see. Don't think I've forgotten about you. I recognized the sound of your nervous little footsteps as soon as they came into my home. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. Mm -hmm. See? She knows us. Is this enough for you to believe what we've been saying? Maybe, but you shouldn't let that cloud your judgment. She's just a princess. As long as she's... Look, do you... you need... Fine, fine. You're the boss. Okay. Thank you. You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room below. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. And there you are, one hand tucked away behind your back, gripping that sharp, sharp blade, no doubt. That's not fair. How would she know that? So, we've dropped the pretenses. Good. She's acting like she already knows you. I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. So, you really don't remember us, do you? No, I don't. But you and the- you Okay, shut that. up. I'm just- Please. Is it just fo- Let's don't talk to- Well? I seem to remember you having a tongue. I'm sorry about last time. I made a mistake. Don't worry, the blade is for you or for killing you. But since you're not happy with me, didn't do shit last time. Okay, let me save. Okay, 
So let's say sorry about last Ooh, time. Smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. If you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. Yeah, sure. Uh don't worry the blue isn't for killing you. Shit, I almost just dropped my phone. Okay. So we're on an impasse, neither of us are gonna get anywhere if we can't trust each other. Unless you want to fight, but I don't want to fight. I don't want to hurt you, give her the blade. You... you can't be serious. Now, hold on. We should put this to a vote. The blade is one of our most valuable assets. We can't just give it to her. What if she uses it to kill us? I vote no. As do I. I, uh, abstain? You abstain? She's going to kill us if we give it to her. Give You're going to get everyone killed. You know that, right? <sighs> but of course you do. You toss the blade at the princess's feet. She eyes it with suspicion before kneeling down to pick it up. I wouldn't have done that. Why did you? You hear a clanging of metal against the dirt floor and the chains fall from the princess's wrist. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart. <laughs> it's a shame we just gave her a weapon because if I were her, I'd use it on us right now. Yeah. Luckily for us, you're not her. <laughs> oh, we sure think alike, though. I can promise you that. Whatever you say next, you'd better make it count. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. What do you think happens now? You stab me. Um. All right. So, save here. You're beautiful, I want to actually save you, and this feels like the only way to do it. She pulls back, clearly caught off guard by whatever nonsense you just said to her. <laughs> I thought it was nice. Whether it's nice depends on if we meant it. We didn't mean it. Did we? If you were lying, we'd all know. But unfortunately, you weren't lying. <laughs> what? What do you mean by that? What kind of game are you playing? The look of surprise that momentarily softened her features vanishes as she steals her nerves. And then she buries the blade in your heart. What? No. No, come on, that's not right. I told <laughs> you. I told you this is what she was going to do. Glee dances across her face as you fall to the ground. <laughs> I did it. I got you. You, you... The princess seems to tremble, her smile fading quickly, replaced with concern. Her nervous eyes brim with tears. Why? Why did you let me do this? But you don't have the strength to respond, nor do you have the... <sighs> okay, so I double-checked, and... I did pretty much everything within the stories that I have, so, so, yeah, I think I'm safe to move on to the next thing, um, but actually, before that, there is something I, something else I want to do. Uh, like if we go to,
Let's load, I guess, damsel. Yes. You're on a path. You're here. Okay. Um, turn around and leave. Never mind. Um. I can feed up the animals. What? She would. I should have. No. Wait. Oh wait, maybe it has to be a chapter 3 thing. Hold on, so... Load... The Eye of the Needle. If you weren't so fit, so no, are you, are you sorry, then what it's good me will as an old eye Okay. Um... I'm not with this bye. Coward! Are you serious? Wait, so what, what's going on? A dark place. I told you we shouldn't have come. Okay. Alright, I already did this. Now chapter one here in the princess. You're on a path. You're here. Sweet, I always want to offer monarch Viva la Revolucion. That's the spirit. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. Alright, proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin. Um All right, take the blade. You take the blade. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open. Her voice. Who's there? She sounds. Don't let it. Continue down the stairs. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Um... Is that... Okay, you got me. That isn't a good idea. Just drop the knife, and maybe the two of us can talk things out. She's right, we shouldn't. We should just drop the blade. No. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Turn your grip. You ignore the- You poor thing. You step forward. Oh? No, I'm probably chained up in so you she's on our can I please Are you sure she's not on positive I'm not but we'll keep our eyes peeled if she has a weapon She'll have to draw it before she can use it Hesitating why don't no. you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized no, with each on. other the same right? How do I not hesitate? Hold up. If there's no, I'm sorry, it's good. Me, well, there's no uh... right. Cow, are you serious? What? But I. I guess I'm continue. Into the cabin. The blade. Take the blade. You take the blade. Okay, now. Enter the basement. The door. Oh, who? She sat. Don't know. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy cheese focus yeah, on the task. Yeah, yeah, you sure. weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. So worth a step forward. You step forward. Your grip on the blade. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? 
I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Say the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh, okay. Did it. Oh. You weren't expecting that, were you? This is it, isn't it? Yep. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? This reminds me of that meme of the Do you really think killing me would be enough to make me die? It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? Of course, she's dead. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to save here. I'm not sure I feel like she has to wait I'm not sure I feel like she has to have some kind of trick up her sleeve of course not that was too easy let's say of course not that was too easy it's over don't get all worked up we should make sure what's the harm in checking for a pulse I really don't think you should do that and why shouldn't we is there something you're not telling us I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. Remove the blade, check for a pulse. You're right, she's dead. Let's get out of here. Let's save again. Remove the blade. You lean down and wrap your hand around the blade's hilt. But as you begin to slide it out of its resting place, you feel a sharp and sudden jab in your side. What was that? I guess I won't be dying alone after all. Quick, let's get out of here. It's too late for that now. You collapse to the ground as the mortally wounded princess twists a blade of her own deeper between your ribs. She has a blade of her own? Alright. As you fall, she falls with you, exhausted by the effort, the little life that was left in her eyes fading rapidly. An eye for an eye. A life for a life. I guess we're even now. I thought she was unarmed. Narrator, you're lying to me. See you around. You were so close. Why did you hesitate? <sighs> it doesn't matter. At least you managed to take her with you. For whatever that's worth. Everything goes dark. And, and you, you die. die. The razor. Hold on. I thought this was going to be... Uh, what was it? The, the phantom? Phantom from air? Um, Alright, go to this. Let me load... Of course it is, she's dead. Yes, exactly. It's over. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. <laughs> Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Leave. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, 
a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. This narrator isn't telling me something. I mean, I knew that already, but... That's bullshit. Let me out of here. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping I'd get a better ending for saving the world. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. I don't trust you. Never did. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days, or months, or years, or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey. We're not just gonna stay here forever, right? Of course we are. I like it here. Didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. We're happy. Hell no. Do you have any idea how to get, a, how to get us the heck out of here? Um, didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. We're happy. Are we really happy? Or is he just telling us that we are? Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm not happy and I'm not just saying that because you're the last person I talked to. No, we're happy. I'm sure of it. Um, no, we're happy. I'm sure really? of it. Really? Well, if you ever change your mind, just let me know, I guess. More happy time passes. Though the word begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is. Not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. Please, shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. The little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Eventually you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. Forever. Good ending. You did it. You saved everyone. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Past the point of no return. There's no going back now. Oh, damn. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm not happy. I'm not just saying that because you're the last person Good. I talked to. Because I have an idea to get us out of here. Though you're probably not going to like it. Okay. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. It's fine, I'm used to it at this point. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Do you not? There's more for us to do, and the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. Why wouldn't using the blade... Wait, wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't we be dead? Anything to get out of this hell. Alright, let's say... Wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't we be dead? How astute. You are absolutely correct. Using the blade to kill yourself would kill you. And you shouldn't do it. No shit, Sherlock. In a sense, we die. But looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? This place, it's... nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's just the same thing. Constantly. Forever. You're right. I know this is out there, but trust me, I know using the blade will work. All right. That little voice didn't want you to slay the princess. It didn't want you to be happy. 
Mm. You better be right about this. I'll be pretty upset if we die here. Anything to die, anything to get out of this hell. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You, you ingrate. No. I need Fine. more. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body oh, is damn. dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. That doesn't make sense, but okay. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Cool. The end. Nice knowing you. Chapter 2, The Spectre. There we go. Okay, hold on, let me... Um... Okay, um... Hmm, which one do I want to do? Do I want to do the prisoner last, or do I want to do the specter last? Um... I guess for now I'll do the razor. That sounds cool. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Um. Proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. It couldn't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. <laughs> we know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. Proceed to the cabin. The interior oh, of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed <coughs> table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. I like how on the outside it was completely fine, like the windows were not broken in the slightest. Also, I'm choking. Oh my god. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Here. Uh, well, we're gonna save. Wait, actually. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's a table, the, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Can you two stop arguing? It's stressful enough in here without all of this extra noise. Uh, I care. I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. I care less about that and more about whether we're being lied to. <laughs> if he's willing to lie about something as innocuous as a mirror, what else is he hiding from us? I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would it even do? Uh, hold on. <clears throat> Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago. Now it's gone. Yet another thing in here playing tricks on us. I hate this place. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Let's see. Okay. Um... I'll get rid of this. 
Alright, enter the basement. Are we really doing this without a weapon? You know she has one, right? Yeah, that's fine. What's the worst I can do? She the slices me in half. Creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. I did. If the okay. princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Scraping? She's not even trying to hide her knife. It's like she wants to get in our head. That's fine. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. Oh yeah, I'm totally here for that. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah, she thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. You know, I was expecting something a little more monstrous, but alright. Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Uh, I can't trust you, but... Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. Exactly. She sounds threatening because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? No, I'm here to kill you. Okay, well, let's... Okay. If I come close to you, you're just going to stab me, aren't you? What? No! No! no I no. wouldn't stab you! I am just a sweet, innocent princess trapped here for no reason. That's literally an excuse I would give. Like, that's... that's... <laughs> I, I know that way too well. <laughs> And you are a brave knight who's supposed to walk up to not stabbing distance to help me. Mm hmm. I have absolutely zero doubts that she <laughs> is going to stab us if we get close to her. Nah, you think? She certainly feels threatening. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. She does. But you know who has the capacity to quickly arm himself, you do. So stop second guessing yourself, go upstairs, take the blade, and do your job. But I'm nervous. All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. What do you remember? Uh, do you remember what happened last time? Do you want to be stabbed? Uh, depends. Uh, we're probably trying to get some endings, but, uh, right now I'll just kind of, I'm going in for this part blind, so I don't really know what I want to do. You remember what happened last time? Last time? If somebody came into my house and stabbed me to death and then I killed him, surely I would remember that. I don't think she remembers. But I don't remember it, so it must not have happened. Yeah, see, she doesn't remember. Last time? What are you talking about? <laughs> Ugh, it's like the two of you are working together on this. Aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. We can't be the only ones that loop back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? Yes, something is obviously up, and we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not 
dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. But that's exactly what happened, so you do remember it. Nah, man. She doesn't. She said she doesn't. Would I just lie? Yes. Would I just lie to your face and tell you a thing I remembered happening didn't happen just so I could stab you again? <laughs> yes. I mean, just so I could stab you for the first time. Mm-hmm. Ah, she slipped up there. She said again. And her taking it back doesn't count. Do you hear how deranged you sound right now? Please stop dawdling. This is only going to end with violence. Postponing yeah. the inevitable is only going to make it worse for you when it actually happens. I know you have a knife. I'll let you drop out of here if you drop it. A knife? What are you talking about? I don't have a knife. Where would I keep a knife? Behind you? You're not showing your hands. And why would I stab you to death? I don't know you. You haven't given me a reason to stab you to death. It would be so silly of me to cut you open and look at your insides. Mm-hmm. Okay, I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing anyone to death. <laughs> Sounds like she's really out for blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't armed. Uh, really now. I trust this narrator less than I trust her. Prove it then. Prove you don't have a knife. It would be so much easier to prove that I do have a sharp object. I could just show it to you. But I don't have one, so I can't. Mm -hmm. The princess smiles as she pulls her hands from behind her back. No. But look at this. Hands. Hands that don't have anything in them to stab you with. It's either her knife is behind her somewhere, like she has a pocket or some shit, or her hands are the knives. Her smile stretches into an even wider grin as she shakes her sleeves. Oh, okay. Well, that's where it is. And empty sleeves, too. Oh, or Look not. Look at how few stabbing implements I have. It's practically zero. But what if you're hiding it somewhere secret? Yeah, take your clothes off. Then we'll prove it. I've shown you all of my hiding spots. What kind of princess do you think I am? I would never hide something sharp somewhere secret. At least the princess is kind of... princess is kind of straight to the point, more than the narrator at least. Uh, yeah, kind of. Wait, that sounds like I'm lying, but I'm actually not. My secret zones are for me, only they have nothing to do with you or my intention to not stab you to death the second you get close to me. Now I'm just curious to see, like, where she's hiding the knife. Her smile drops for a moment, her expression sharp and flat. I assure you, there's nothing hidden there. Are you sure about that? I'm inclined to believe her on that one. She seems serious. No. Of course, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have something hidden somewhere. We know for a fact she's armed. I'd like to trust you, but you're being suspicious right now. How many fucking options are there? What the fuck? Why? I'd like to trust you, but you're being sus so suspicious right now. That's so rude of you. Passing judgments on strangers you've never met just because they're different from you. How would you like it if I did that, huh? Uh, you, you kind of are doing that, but all right. Silly little bird face thinks he's so serious coming down here, but doesn't know anything. He doesn't even have a knife for stabbing. I bet you didn't like that, did you? I bet you didn't like being judged for no reason. How many more times does she have to vaguely threaten you before you finally decide you're ready to deal with her? We're clearly still figuring out our angle. We don't have the luxury of watching this from a distance. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm in a position of luxury right now? Yes, you're not the one dying. You're acting like you are. <laughs> My entire world is at risk. Then maybe you should behave with a little more humility. A bit of self-deprecation would go a long way. <laughs> no. 
I have my dignity. Sure you do. Fine. Then we'll continue to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated. Can we just talk things through? This was probably supposed to be like the first ending I did. Oh god. Um... Can we just talk things through? But we don't have anything to talk through. We're strangers and this place is cramped and annoying and you should just come over here and let me out. Mm-hmm. I think I've said my piece at this point. Yeah. I think we all have. But if you want to keep exhausting your questions, it beats getting stabbed to death. Yeah. A little bit. I don't have the key. Oh, you don't. Okay, I see. I have an idea. You should come over here and stare directly at the chains. You won't be able to find a key if you don't know what it's supposed to look like, so you better come right within close staring distance just to be sure. Ah. You make a okay, compelling I'm argument. Bored now. She's bored? That's absurd. She doesn't get to be bored. Not in a way that matters. She's a prisoner. She's shit. In a sudden burst of movement, the princess leaps towards you, a blade erupting from her free arm, her wrist limp and empty from the violent expulsion. Huh. So I guess she did have a knife of her own after all. Oh. Yeah, that's a little bit of what I expected. Just, uh, not quite like that. How conciliatory of you. We appreciate it, really. Now what are we going to do? <laughs> At least we're safe here. She's still in chains. And those chains stop her from continuing her advance, at least for a moment. She looks down at them with something between annoyance and confusion. And then she slices through her arm. Oh, well, that's one way to do it. Okay, maybe we aren't safe here. <laughs> she doesn't even hesitate before darting towards you with a terrifying speed you can't hope to outpace. That won't stop us from trying. Run, 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 run. You sprint for the stairs, but I wasn't exaggerating when I said she was running at you with a terrifying speed you couldn't hope to outpace. We don't make it, do we? Nope. No. You feel her blade in your back before you make it to the first stair. I'm going to kill you now. Yeah, you know, that seems fair. And with a squelch, she does just that. Yeah. Everything goes dark. And, and you, you die. die. Chapter 3, No Way Out. Okay, hold on. Um... Okay. You're on a path in the woods. No, fuck that. If we're going to have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. What? The interior of the cabin is sharp, <laughs> a constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? I feel dizzy. Oh ho ho ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? Who cares about cards? You're all acting like this is about winning and losing, while this is actually... About having fun. Oh yeah, it's totally about having fun, you know. You, you know, fucking princess whips out a fucking sword out of her arm and stabs us to death. Yeah, it's so fun. Is this fun for you? It's not fun for me. I don't like being sliced to pieces. Great. So obviously you've already been here. How many times? Three. This is our third. No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? That can't be right, that's too much responsibility! I couldn't agree more. We couldn't be trusted with the fate of a single person, let alone the fate of the world. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table, a pristine blade perched, we take it. Okay, sure, you take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. Okay. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. And then, we throw it out the window! What? 
That blade is the only edge we have. We are not. Too late, because we already did it, didn't we? <laughs> I don't have a choice anymore. I needed to get another ending, but all right, sure. Fortunately for the rest of you, and for me, and for the sake of the world, yes. That is horribly unfair. He shouldn't be allowed to just do things like that. You were the one who made us pick it up. See? You're not the only one who can figure out how to do things. What's done is done. I suggest you make the best of it. You're all so mad at each other. I'm just going to sit here quietly in the corner. You can be the ones to figure out what to do. Sure. So? Are you just going to stand there, or are you going to head to the basement like you're supposed to? I'd, I would like to do something else, but, you know... I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? Um... But there isn't a door. It's just that mirror again. It isn't a mirror. You only messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. Kind of. But I, can't, I don't have a choice. Approach the mirror. Make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Uh, Let's just move asshole. it out of the way without looking. I don't want to see us. I'm sure we all look awful after dying twice. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Wipe the mirror clean. Reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And the mirror's gone. Eh, yeah, surprising. I can't say I was particularly invested in looking at it before, but now, now I really want to see what's in it. If it's so keen on hiding from us, whatever it has must be real good. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic, an unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. As your body tumbles onto the basement landing, the form of the princess comes into view, wryly smiling at you from a distance. Hi, it looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. And you still don't have a weapon. That's funny. That's a joke. I'm going to kill you now. I mean, I had a weapon. It's just one of my vo one of the voices in my head threw it out the window. Yes, that was extremely silly of whoever did that. Probably a bad idea. <laughs> you motherfucker. That was you. I know. I'm just trying to add some levity to this. <laughs> Well, since all of this was your idea, how about you figure out how to get us out of it? Oh, guys like us don't get to make any decisions. You should know that. I decided to pick up that blade, and you decided to throw it out the window. This is why we've already lost. Can't even stop bickering with ourselves. How are we supposed to beat her without a weapon? She's so sharp. Your internal bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades, glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clatters to the floor. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Yes. All right, I'm out of ideas. What are we doing? Um, we fight her, obviously. We're going to appeal to her authority. But probably there's no reason we can't talk to Sal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with not letting her stab us. We can dodge, right? That's easy. I'm going to try flirting with her. Oh my god, I'm so tempted. We're saving. That's 100% something we're trying. She has swords for arms and we... And we... And we don't. We're panicking. Wow, how many options are there? We're going to let her stab us, and we're going to have a stiff upper lip about it. She can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. All of these ideas suck. Think of something better. Um, I mean, 
That's easy. I'm going to try flirting with her. Now that is an interesting move. Yeah. Interesting? It's disgusting. No, don't try romancing the princess. She wants to kill you. She's going to end the world if you don't stop her. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, do we have to flirt with the murderous monster? Yes. Of course we do. I'm into it. The one making the decisions is into it. Are you not? I, I don't think so. I, I don't know. I could go either way, honestly. She doesn't want us. You're just saying that because you want her to be into you. I know. I thought I was being obvious. I know you want to kill me, but has any anyone ha has anyone ever told you how gorgeous you are? I feel like I really wait. I feel like I really get you. I like you romantically, even. Maybe we can hash this out over a date. How about you buy me dinner before impaling me to death? Give her the look. <laughs> this is great. All right. Um. Maybe we can hash this out over a day. A rosy blush flushes in the princess's cheeks, and a wide grin cuts across her face. That's not gonna work. That's uh, that's a fake out. You're sweet. I like you too. You're probably my favorite person other than me. Yeah. Oh, be damned. This is actually going to work, isn't it? No, it's not. Still gonna kill you though. Oh, okay, well. That's fine. Or not. <laughs> Hey, you know, at, at least, at least we got to confess before dying. That's all that matters. At least she likes us. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been liked before. Blush still glowing in her cheeks. The princess closes the distance between you and skewers you. That's fair. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what worthwhile romance doesn't hurt at least a little bit? <laughs> what matters is that she likes us. She's even said as much. Oh, a new one of us. <laughs> I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? Uh, I mean, technically, yes. Nah, we'd know if we died. Right? Your Honor. No, your are know, Where the hell are we? <laughs> I think we're dead. And that's all we'll ever be. Dead, 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 dead. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? I don't actually know how to answer that question. Yeah. <laughs> I think he means how many times have we died. Yes. That. Oh, I've lost count, to be honest. I mean, I don't know if this is still the third or if this is the fourth, but... I haven't. It's four. Oh, okay. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. <laughs> I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. <coughs> but I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay. Whatever we do gets us another us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. We'll win her heart eventually. Come on, show me something new. We're fighting her, obviously. We're going to appeal for authority. Um, all these ideas suck. Think up something better. It doesn't work, and she kills you again, and again, and again, and again. Your memory blurs as your consciousness leaps from life to life. Holding you snippets of the conflict that transpires. None of this is working. Think. Think. She skewers you. Of course. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. We just have to hit her harder. Skewers you. Of course. More noise isn't helping. It's just making it harder to focus. Just keep dodging. Just keep dodging. Just keep dodging. She skewers you. What's the point of avoiding me if you're not going to fight? 
doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. We don't even have a weapon. Yeah, some clod threw it out the window. Mm. Again, that was you. No, I was just the clod who suggested it. And if I knew we'd be stuck here forever, I wouldn't have done that. Just panic. Flee. She skewers you. Of course. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. Yeah. See? We lasted a little longer. Barely. <laughs> She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. She skewers you. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. Fine. One last time. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. Oh, yeah, sure. She skewers you. And then everything goes dark. And you, you die. die. Oh, the empty- what? It goes to four? Okay, hold the fuck up. This is getting way too convoluted. Your Honor, don't lose your- No, 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 no. Let's, uh... I guess this. This. Okay. Okay, so this isn't supposed to... Yeah, I'm not trusting this. Uh bye. It's boring if you leave. She's bored? That's absurd. She doesn't get to be bored. Not in a way that matters. She's a prisoner. She's <laughs> shit. In a sudden burst of movement, the princess leaps towards you, a blade erupting from her free arm, her wrist limp and empty from the violent expulsion. Huh. So I guess she did have a knife of her own after all. How conciliatory of you. We appreciate it, really. Now what are we going to do? At least we're safe here. She's still in chains. And those chains stop her from continuing her advance. At least for a moment. She looks down at them with something between annoyance and confusion. And then she slices through her arm. Okay, maybe we aren't safe here. Yeah. She doesn't even hesitate before darting towards you with a terrifying speed you can't hope to outpace. Okay, this is the same. So, load this again. Um... I'll be right back. I left something upstairs. If you okay. Okay, fine. I'm coming closer to free. You'd better not try anything. Of course I won't. Yeah. Against your better judgment, you walk across the room to within arm's reach of the princess. I don't like the way you said within arm's reach. Yeah. You hear the horrible sound of metal slicing through meat. Whose meat? Not ours, right? Hers, at first. Then yours. Your neck, specifically. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> you collapse to the ground, your vision swimming as you attempt to focus on her bloody blade and the limp sack of flesh that was once her arm. You're going to die now. Ah, oh, yeah, uh, that's fair. And with a quick jerk of her elbow, she does just that. Everything, Everything goes dark, dark and, and you, you die. die. No way out. I already... You're on a path in the woods. No, fuck. Okay, um... Let me get the knife first. Uh, I don't remember where the thing was. Oh, shit.
Which safe pod did I put it in? Uh... Oh, this. Alright, take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. That's great, buddy. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. There is. You can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Scraping? She's not even trying to hide her knife. It's like she wants to get in our head. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah, she thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? Okay, hold on, let me... Sure. Um... There are way too many. Um, screw it, say the princess. The princess falls silent, her smile unwavering as you charge across the room. Okay, she hasn't pulled out a knife yet, and her hands are still behind her back. I think we can do this. I think we can win. We just have to strike now, but make sure you keep your eyes on those hands. I don't trust her for a second. But your focus is broken by the horrible sound of metal slicing through meat. Whose meat? Not ours, right? Hers at first, then yours. <laughs> Ow! What, what did she even hit us with? You stare down at your chest and at the long, thin blade she impaled you with. And then the red, angry slit along the flesh of her thigh, where the blade had been nestled just a moment ago. It's still lodged in her leg, emerging from her knee, hinging up and out of her body like some extra metallic limb. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. <laughs> You're going to die now. Yeah. With a twist of her knee and a painful squelch, she does just that. Everything goes dark. And you, and die. you die. The arms race. Okay, this is different. Um, Let's save over this. Okay, um, uh, is it different? You're on a path in the woods. Okay, well. No, fuck that. If we're gonna have to keep doing this over. I don't think this is different. No, wait, the other one was no way out. Okay, you know what? Let's load the arms race. 
wherever I, wherever it was. Where the fuck did I put it? There we go. Look. No, fuck that. If we're gonna have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. Your what? The interior of the cabin is sharp. A constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? I feel dizzy. Mm hmm Oh ho ho ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? The circle's getting smaller and smaller. Running isn't an option anymore. We have to fight. Good. It's better that way. Without a fight, no one can win, and if no one can win, then nothing has any meaning. Great, so obviously you've already been here. How many times? This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes, and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? That can't be right, that's too much responsibility! Impossibly high stakes make the fight so much better. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table. A pristine blade perched. We take it. Okay, sure, you take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. This feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. That's right, we've got to be able to win eventually. We will win eventually. Hell, we might even win now. That's a fighting spirit I like to see. You could all learn a thing or two from this one. <laughs> I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? There isn't a door. It's just that mirror again. There isn't a mirror. You only messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right. It could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. I'm still unsure of where to put the mic. <laughs> if it's in our way, let's just break it and move on. Maybe this is too low. I guess here. That's where it was before. Approach the mirror. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And the mirror's gone. Eh, yeah, surprising. Yeah. It was never there. Just an illusion. Let's just get to the princess already. I didn't care about the mirror before, and I care about it even less now. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. I pretty should have put the wire behind the computer. I need to fix my wiring issue because there's way too many wires where I'm where I'm sitting. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic, an unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Hi, it looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. Cool. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. She's got another thing coming if she thinks we're going down easy again. Pride makes us dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Nothing bad has come of it yet. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. The past isn't real. There's only here 
And now... Your internal bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades, glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clatters to the floor. She's loose, and she is coming for you. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Yes. Shit. She's coming for us, and I'm out of ideas. We shank her. Um, we awaken her inner Brit. Uh... Okay. We're going to fight her again and we're going to have a stiff upper lip about it. She can't hurt us if we don't let herself feel if we don't let herself feel it. We're going to appeal to her authority. We're going to unconditionally surrender. Oh that's easy, I'm gonna try flirting with her. She has swords for arms and we don't. We're panicking. She wins by killing us, right? So let's beat her to it. No, 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 that's a terrible idea. A win's a win. Screw it, we've already died twice. What's a third? <laughs> a third is a third. It's bad. Who cares? Fine. You raise your blade above your head. Oh, this is new. What are you going to do? Are you really going to stab yourself? Neat. Then you skewer yourself. Ow. Are we still here? Can we not actually off ourselves? Boo! Huh, Shit. that didn't do much of anything. We're tougher than I thought. <laughs> oh, a new one of us. <laughs> I thought that only happens when we die. If we die? Nah, we'd know if we died. Right? Your Honor. No, your are you know, Where the hell are you? <laughs> I think we're dead. And that's all we'll ever be. Dead, 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 dead. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? This is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay, whatever we do gets us another... us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. We don't need any other voices chattering about in here. It'll just confuse us. All we need is to keep fighting. I think I'm with them here. Yeah, I'll pass on that. As long as we keep moving. Who cares about getting better than her? Let's do something weird. Like, really, really weird. Come on, show me something new. Okay, um, we're gonna fight her again and we're going to have a sip of her lip about it. She can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. It doesn't work and she kills you again and again and again and again. Your memory blurs as your consciousness leaps from life to life to life, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. She's going to kill this body either way, so stop feeling what it feels. She skewers you. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. What's the point it's all the same excuse you of course oh don't give up on me just yet you gotta keep going do you see that we almost had her that was luck but we only have to get lucky once compliment her on those gleaming blades there's nothing better than a capable woman she skews you you're cute yeah, thanks, I get that a lot. Doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. <sighs> okay, let's go again. Just panic! Flee! She skewers you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. See? We're getting better. Okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. 
rescuers, you. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. You're right. One last time. That's all we need. This is new. None of this is working. Think. Think. Rescuers, you. Of course. And then everything goes dark. And, and you, you die. die. Okay, this is also new, so let's uh, save this right here. Okay, um, mutually assured destruction. Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin, and we'll take it from here. <laughs> Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. Oh, what if? Throw it out the window. Over my dead body. That won't be very hard. We've died a lot. But I can't say I mind anymore. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? Not wrong. Sure, I can think of a better way to die. Yeah, they're all the same, really. How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. The only thing we're gonna manifest is finally ending up on top. There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... How about you stick to describing things, and we'll stick to doing them? Yeah, leave it to the pros. We'll notch up that win in no time. Narrator? We heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only... It's more of a slide. We know. Fine. I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Yeah, honestly, you've been here for way too long. I would rather you weren't here at all. Don't care. Just want to win. <laughs> Fine. You make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. Cool. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces, you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? Yes. I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait. And not for very long. Because I'm going to do it right now. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. Hmm. Narrator. Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, D do you want me to talk now? Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay, then. Here we go, now. The princess's skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. She becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Are you ready for what comes next? Holy shit! She's gorgeous. Absolutely divine. Yeah, it, she really is. Yes, behold the perfect woman. Do you think we can throw her out the window? Yeah, probably. <laughs> the problem is that there aren't any windows. That looked painful. Yeah. How is she still? Still beating, that's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. 
She doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. And to your mind. Just happened. It's so quiet. Wait. We're in the basement. Him too. Oh. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Yeah. You do not act. And yet, through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes as you approach, but her blow finishes its arc. You're already somewhere else. You're incredible. Your weapons clash again and again. You and her entertaining a rhythm free of thought and free of self. There is only the dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of the tides back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound, and the faster the momentum volleys between you. An, endless, an endlessly building crescendo, and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of strikes free of volition and hers strikes too water and steel master yourself and vanquish a sharp foe nice both strikes are lethal neither of you will survive but neither of you fear what's to come this is a good ending You do not get to see each other die, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Approach the mirror. You do so. Gaze into your reflection. Silence. As you reach towards the glass, it's time for you to see what's in it. You've withered. Oh wow, we're this far behind. Holy shit. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. I thought we were like on the fifth one. You are at the cabin. Approach her. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Uh, what do you think of this vessel? This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark, and you die. A sharp vessel. Bring the razor full to her. Alright. Um. Okay. Load. And the empty cup. Don't lose your head. We're in a cabin, and we'll take it from here. No steel claw, though. Was tossing it the only thing we've done that was permanent? That's a sick joke, universe. A sick, sick joke. If it's gone for good, then maybe we never actually needed it. That's what I've been Not telling this, you all. We can do this without it. We're tougher than steel. Yeah, mind over matter. Who needs violence when you have... Who needs love when you've mastered yourself? Who needs anything when we don't matter? Damn. Well, boys, are we ready? There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? 
This isn't good. This is. How about you stick to describing things, and we'll stick to doing them. Good idea. Yeah. Leave it to the pros. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. Don't think that's right. Correct. correct. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only it's more of a slide. We know. Fine, I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room, or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Don't care, just want to see how this ends. Fine, you make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? Yeah. I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? Yeah. I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait. And not for very long. Because I'm going to do it right now. All right. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. Hmm. Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, do, do you want me to talk now? Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Here we go. Now. The princess's skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. Then it erupts. She becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering the against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Are you ready for what comes next? Holy shit! She's gorgeous. Absolutely divine. Yes, behold the perfect woman. Indeed. Do you think we can throw her out the window? Probably. If only there were windows here. That looked... Painful. It sure did. How is she still alive? No idea. Hearts still beating. That's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. I'd say we bow down to her right now if that ever even slightly worked for us. This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. Right, huh? your mind. What just happened? It's so quiet. Him too. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Yeah. You do not act as the princess appro approaches. Instead, allowing her to crash against your form. And yet... There is seemingly nothing for her to crash against. Again and again, she swings at you. But there never really was a you to swing at. This worked before. I was able to make you dead before. Do you really think killing me would be enough to make me die? She swings again, and this time she hits something. Or something hits her. She looks down in confused terror. As her arms bends and folds it in upon itself. Did you do that? It's funny if you did. You're nothing. You've done nothing to me and I've done so much to you and... That's who we are. But it's like you're nothing now. You can't be nothing. If you're nothing, then what am I? Am I nothing too? Yes. No, I'm the one who hurts you. She hurls us... Yeah, she hurls herself at you. But as she does, her metal body bends outwards the very contact with what you are repelling her to the point of destruction be formless shapeless allow a sharp throat to vanquish 
The din of shrieking metal subsides, and something small and delicate falls into your hand. It's her heart. It beats gently, calmly in your palm. Oh. Well. That was mine, but alright. Not another word... Not another word is spoken. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Approach the mirror. You do so. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach towards the glass. It's time for you to see what's in it. You've withered. Okay. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still the same. What do you think of this vessel? This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. Cool. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark. And you die. A beating vessel. Bring the razor's heart to her. Um. Where's my phone? Uh, hold on. So I'm actually not sure how. I want to load. Let's load this. This is without the knife. Okay. Or, wait, maybe not. Oh my god, and I just... What did I do? Um, hold on. Is OBS still fine? Okay. Okay. I saved over the f thing I wanted to load. All right, sure, sure, that's cool, that's fine. Um, and I also just changed my keyboard's color, and I'm not exactly sure how. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Anyway, back to the important stuff. Um. Okay, so I just loaded over the thing I wanted to do, but. I'm just kind of fucking, I can't be asked. Um, Where is it? Okay, let's load this. This is where I have the knife. Okay. Did I? Yeah, I did try to. Fine, so. Um. Nobody has to die. Of course not. At least not now, because you're here to save me. Yes. But of you'll course. have to come close. I have absolutely zero doubts that she is going to stab us if we get close to her. She certainly feels threatening. 
Fun. What did I just get? Um. So I got feeding vessel, formless shape, a sharp vessel. Okay, I got water and steel. Sharp vessel, formless, shapeless, a feeding vessel. Oh. Oh, that's it. Okay, never mind. There's nothing else to see in this. Okay, cool. Okay. That's it. So, um... Alright. I think I'm going to do Spectre next. And then I'll do Prisoner last. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Uh. You. Alright. Proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat. And she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. She won't be a problem. Proceed into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is cold. A soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. Uh, you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall? That's because there isn't a mirror. There's a table, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Who cares if there's a mirror? Let's just go into the basement and find her body, so we can be done with this. Um... Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago, and now it's gone. Let's not spend much longer worrying over it. Clearly it's not even important enough to be acknowledged. Okay. We save. I guess I don't need the razor anymore, so. Cool. Uh, let's enter without taking the blade. The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. The room below is silent. Nobody's here, naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Okay, she's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Two deep-set eyes stare up at you followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. It's so cute though. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? G -g 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 ghost 
Oh. Wow. How absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. Yeah, I can believe that. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she has a body, and she's right there. We could probably grab her and kill her again, if we wanted to. We don't even need a blade. She looks fragile enough to me. I don't think we can even touch her. Uh, grab her, wait and see how things play out. Uh, we're saving. Uh, don't need this. Grab her. Before she can suspect a thing, you lunge forward and grab her arm. Yeah. You feel substance for the briefest of moments, so. but then you feel nothing at all. As though all you've done is clutch at empty air. Hmm. You're adorable when you're confused. I sure am. But I didn't say you could touch me. Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job? Or what? Uh... Cool. If I knew I'd have to talk to you again, I wouldn't have slain you. And if I knew you were going to murder me without even knowing who I was, I wouldn't have given you the chance. We all make mistakes. I guess so. I died too, and I'm not floating around like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? You don't look dead, Keller. The princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. But aren't you supposed to, like, you're not tangible, but all right. And you don't feel dead, either. She lets go and pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. I'm less interested in why you are, or how you are, and a lot more interested in what you are. I've tried to leave on my own. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place, even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. I just wanted to go home. I'm so cold and alone here. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. After all, you owe me. You're not wrong. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Um... What if I say no? Then I won't get your rod. You won't hitch a ride if I say no, or you can't hitch a ride. I'm sure you'd like to know. It's a shame I won't tell you. But, 
it'll be easier for both of us if you just let me in. And doesn't it sound nice? Maybe for her, but it's crowded enough in here as is. You're not wrong. You won't have to feel guilty anymore. If you even do feel guilt. Not really. It could be the best way to trap her for good. Doesn't seem like it would be very easy to end the world from inside someone else's body. That is a very dangerous train of thought. This would just be temporary, right? You'll leave once we're out of the cabin. If I'm able to. But for all we know, that's not how it works. Maybe I'll wind up stuck with you for a long, 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 long time. Do you hear the way she said that? She knows more than she's letting on. Don't let her fool you into doing something you'll regret. If I let you in, do I still get to be in control? Sure. Why not? That doesn't sound very reassuring. <laughs> I can't believe you're even entertaining her right now. I mean, just look at her. Do you think she has good intentions for her murderer's body? Of course she doesn't. Before I agree to anything, we need to talk about what happens after you leave this place. I was told you to end the world. And what? You just believed that? You killed me without giving it any thought? That's cold. That's rich coming from her. Every time she touches us, it's like we freeze over. She's right, though, but that's neither here nor there. What's done is done. What we do from this point forward is all that matters. Let's try not to let emotion get the better of us. I, uh, how many more? Obvious, obviously it was wrong of me to believe that. How could you have ended the world if all it took to kill you was a knife to the, he to the heart? So there really was a last time, and you really did manage to slay her. I would have liked to think I was the first, but there's no point living in denial. Oh, uh, no, trust me, there's been like a hundred before you. You're not special, my guy. The first? It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is this. Don't underestimate your own capabilities. If you truly managed to slay her last time, that doesn't mean she wasn't a threat. It means you did something heroic. Threats come in all shapes and sizes. A misspoken word could bring about the end of everything just as much as a blade or even the mere existence of an idea. You were chosen for this job for a reason. That's right, killer. I'm not a threat to anyone. And even if I was, I'm hardly a threat anymore, wouldn't you say? What are you going to do if I help you get out of here? I don't know. Maybe I'll just fade away. I'm really able to rest once I'm free from my unfinished business. Maybe I'll find someone to haunt. Maybe I'll haunt you. Go ahead. It's a tough question, asking someone what she's going to do with her life. The princess leans in close and pauses, the frigid air between you stale and unmoving. Especially when someone is dead. She pulls back with a plate. <laughs> I don't think most living people could answer that either. Does anyone actually know who they are or what they want? I have no idea. Well, were you going to end the world? I don't know. I just wanted to leave. I still just want to leave. You didn't answer my question. Do you want to end the world? The only thing I've ever wanted was to leave this place. It's still the only thing I want. You still didn't answer my question. Even if you don't want to end it, does letting you out of here mean the world is going to end? It does. How do I- No, I'm not trusting you. We're not asking you. We've heard your whole speech already. Yeah. I really, really don't know. I'm not lying to you. I promise. The world doesn't matter. A 
All I remember is that I'm supposed to be there, there, not here. I'm just supposed to be a part of it. It's its home, I think. Popo doesn't mean for anything to happen. I ended, but I also didn't. And you ended too. But here you are. And you don't, and you don't even look any different. I'm not so sure endings are real. Leave it at that. Oh my god, there's more? I killed you. What are you going to... What are you doing not being dead? I don't feel very bad. I guess I'm not... Not dead. So you must have only mostly killed me. Or maybe death is only mostly real. But it's also mostly not real. I'm not sure. I'm just the one these things have happened to. I'm not the one with all the answers. Or any of the answers. But we're not a ghost. Unless we are? Maybe that's why the mirror disappeared. We're actually dead. Death? at least as a form of permanence, is just a concept. And clearly it's not a very useful one anymore. Maybe we should throw it out entirely. See, this is why I didn't want you to talk to her. Death is not just a concept, it is an extremely real phenomenon. Don't let her distort your reality. Cold hard facts exist. The truth exists. It has to. Your body's right there, though. Your dead body. The princess glances back at the bones lying on the floor. It's just a body. Do you believe these bones? Or do you believe me? Because those bones aren't talking to you. She's seeing things pragmatically. We should do the same. Reality is what's in front of us, not our preconceptions of what it should be. There doesn't need to be a static truth. It doesn't need to be objectivity. Is it just me or is she cuter as a ghost than she was like before? <laughs> Do you know why you came back? How should I know? Why does anyone come back? Maybe I have unfinished business with you. Or maybe you have unfinished business with me. There is way too much time. To All I know is there's a hole in my chest. Not the big obvious one that you put there. There's something older. And deeper. Oh, not the Monkey D. Luffy one? Alright. A nagging reminder that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Stop playing the victim. You threatened me last time. Oh, yes, you did. Well, yeah. You brought a knife with you. Was I supposed to just welcome you with open arms when you obviously had stabbing on the mind? That knife could have been for anything. It could have, but it wasn't. You can't blame me for threatening a would-be knife-wielding murderer. Especially when that would-be knife-wielding murderer became an actual knife-wielding murderer. You're dead, or at least mostly dead. What can you even... What can you even do to hurt me? A boring question with an easy answer. Nothing. She's a ghost. Ghosts can't hurt us. That's for you to know, and for you to wonder about. Maybe I can't do anything to you. See? Or maybe I can rip your heart out. Hmm? Who's to say, really? Did that voice in my head fuck you? I don't like the uncertainty here. I don't know what to do or who to trust. Okay, team. I'm out of ideas. Thoughts? She might be making it hard for us to kill her body, but those bones look very, very real. Maybe breaking them breaks her. Or maybe burying them would put her to rest. Don't take any piece of her outside of this cabin. Maybe you should stop looking for loopholes and try harder to actually slay her. Uh, how? To explain? But we are trying. What if I buried your bones outside? 
Those are just bones. They aren't me. Bury them. Destroy them. Whatever. That dusty pile of death is just a reminder of what you've done. It's not a fix for anything. Okay. I've given enough thought. Let's get you out of here. I've got enough thought. The answer is no, I can't let you possess me. Smash your bones, grab the princess, but try harder. Fine, if I can't hurt you, then there really isn't anything for me to do here. I guess I'll get going. Leave her in the basement. Right, I don't think there's much more for us to talk about. I'm going to get the blade now, and then the two of us can fight. Which you okay. Um, smash your bones. This path is already worn by travel and has been seen by one of my many eyes. You cannot walk it again. Change your course. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. I tried. I. Hold on. No. Um. Let's load this again. Fine, if I can't hurt you, then there really isn't anything for me to do here. Guess I'll get going. This path is already worn by- Wait, what? Wow, that doesn't give me a choice. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark-rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. Thanks for the body, killer. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? <sighs> She's cute as a ghost, though. Yeah. Also, uh. She rushes forward and then. She's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do-over? Nope. Well, technically yes, but later. I'm it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement causing more waves of agony to ripple across your body. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Get up. You've still got a job to do. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? <laughs> so, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor? Are they also supposed to be you? Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... Yeah, go on. Finish the thought. What are you? An idiot um, sandwich. A voice? I'm me is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. Do you have to deal with this annoying bickering all the time? Yes, you, you get used to it. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. I'm clearly the same thing you are. Hopefully they'll all go away once we leave this place. I don't know how you can tolerate all of this noise. Oh my god, you have no idea. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. So you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a memory than a person. That's rude. You're kind of like me, actually. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Obviously she's nowhere to be seen. Because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. <laughs> and setting the stage. The room is empty. Because you made a spiteful, idiotic, 
and all-round foolish decision. Oh, shut up. Stop trying to manipulate everyone. Or don't, actually. It doesn't really matter. Because you won't be around to do this for much longer. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just, whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. I can't think straight. There's too much noise. Then don't think. Just move. One way or another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't it be nice if he ends with it? I guess we'll just have to see what happens when we leave. But if I'm stuck in here, I'll be making some renovations. It's too crowded. Need the basement. <sighs> Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form, and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. I do. Wait, if she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, your body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open door. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. <laughs> it's because he can't stop me. Why do you think he sent you here? I hate to admit it, but she's not wrong. It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And whine. This body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. Oh, uh, this is important. Um... Okay. Charge forward. You continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. Finally! Finally! You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the door handle. But you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? It's over. There's no use stalling. Let's see what happens next. Shit. But exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it. And then the door groans open. Collapse to the ground. You and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see... Uh, yes? <laughs> Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. So we did slay him after all. He had it coming, I suppose. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in... nowhere forever? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? We're still here. Yeah, but that thing you said earlier, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends, or... On top of the other world, but not in it, or have we never been part of the world? All right, let's see if I'm stuck with you forever. Hitchhiker. You pick up a passenger and take her to her destination. Nice. You feel a lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. Is he not? That's why it ends well, right? You lived up to your end of the bargain. So I'll live up to mine. Thanks. Don't mention it. I think... 
This is where I need to be. You don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? You're withered. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to, to the cabin. You're at the cabin. Approach her. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Uh, what are you supposed to be? Because clearly you're not human. I don't know. What do you think of this vessel? This one is vaporous. She is a dream for a life she could never have. But that longing has given her so much capacity for kindness. She will make for an understanding heart. If you even have a heart. Do not mourn her. She will finally be able to hold what she never knew. Alright, well. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark, and you die. Okay. An evanescent vessel. Bring the specter to her. I want to load... This. Take the blade. You reach forward and mindlessly take the blade from the table. What do you plan to do with it? Um... Slay the princess. Isn't that an interesting idea? I hadn't even considered it as an option. Slaying her would slay you. Are you sure you're willing to do that? Of course we're sure. The decision has already been made. All right then. Better this than ferrying her out of here. What do you think you're doing? Hear that? She's scared. No point wasting more time. Do it. You lift the blade, then plunge it deep into your guts. Pain spreads quickly through your torso as you attempt to turn its edge up towards your heart. No! The princess, her spirit bound to your prison of flesh as she had once been bound to the basement's prison of stone, cries out in agony as you slice through organ and muscle. Your skin roils and bucks as she violently pushes against it from the inside. Bits of her seep through, white and glowing with ethereal light. But still the walls of your prison hold. Is this really what you wanted? Do you hate me so much that you would kill yourself just to deny me freedom? Yes. Yes, he would. <laughs> because he knows what's at stake, and he knows what will happen if you leave this place. I'm not so sure about all of that. Yeah. Don't be modest. You're a hero. Do you think I'm going to stick around while you die? Hell no, I'm leaving. You can try if you want. But I think this is an end for all of us. Out, let me out, let me out, let me out! The princess's form continues struggling to pull itself out of you. But the effort is in vain. You collapse to your knees. Your vision the blurs, exorcist. then starts to fade. Take on the spear and destroy it. The only way you can. And then what happens? I think he's gone. Just like everything else. Are we... dead? I don't know. I don't think so. This is different than it was last time.
as the voices in your head debate amongst themselves, themselves, the form of the princess crawls from your body and into the vast nothing surrounding you. Do you think we're done? Yes. Do you? We're very much done. You did not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Cool. I am the all of me. Um. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Okay. No uh, load. What if I charge forward with the knife? Blade in hand, you continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead, dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. Finally! Finally! You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the door handle, but you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? It's over. There's no use stalling. Let's see what happens next. Open the door. Shit. But exhaustion wasn't enough. Collapse to the ground. You and the uh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. That's all the same. So. Um. Where is it? I want to try taking the knife at the very beginning. I think it's this. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Enter the basement. The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. The room below is silent. Nobody's here, naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, it's before you have a chance to deep set eye. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? A g -g -g ghost Oh. Fucking wow. shaggy. How absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she has a body. And she's right there. That means we could kill her again. If we wanted to. Okay, let me see. I don't think this is gonna work, but I might as well try. Please, princess. Without a moment's hesitation, you lash out with your blade. It's like you're slashing at air. No matter how many times you stab at her, no matter how many angles you strike from, all you manage to do is interrupt her form, the skin of your hand prickling with cold as it passes through, unable to find anything solid. Hmm. You're adorable when you're confused. But I didn't say you could touch me. What if I say... Hold on. Let me load this again. Wait and see how things play out. I see you brought that annoying knife again. So, are you waiting for a chance to use it? Or 
why you're here for something else. I killed you. What are you doing not being dead? I don't feel very bad. Wait, I... Or maybe death is only most... But when... Maybe that's what... Yeah. See... Uh... Um... Leave her in the base. This path is already... Wait, what? Shit. Okay. Slay the princess. Without a moment's hesitation, you lash out with your blade. It's like... Hmm. I already did that. Yes. Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job? Or what? Okay. I want the... Maybe has to be done. Anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a moment? Hmm. But I didn't say. Why are you even here? I uh, Just making sure you finish the job, or what? Say the princess harder. This path is Never right. mind. Um. What do you want from me? I want you to make things right. I want you to set me free. This place won't let me leave. But you seem to come and go as you please. So help me out. Let me in. And maybe all of this can be water under the bridge. Remember, you owe me. Maybe we should have just left her here. Maybe we should still just leave her here. If she can't get out on her own, then why do we have to do anything? Hasn't gotten out and can't get out are two very different things. But it'd be dull anyway. It's more interesting if we make a choice. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. <sighs> you won't like how things play out if you go down this path. I literally don't have a choice. I need to think on this. Take your time. I'll be waiting. I'm very good at waiting. Wait. Oh. Um. Oh, never mind. Okay. What do you want from me? I want you to make things. This. Remember. Maybe we should. Hasn't got to be done. Absent. Is she? she would she? Now it. <sighs> no. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger. Thanks for the body, killer. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to see She rushes okay, forward hold on, and then see. she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused no, as no, it no, 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 no. Load this and see how things play out um leave the this path of course <sighs> just no choice um okay what do you want I want what you took from the way back to where I've tried it hasn't got to be dull. But after all, absolutely. Is she asking if she is? Would she? Be Shut up. Okay. Uh, I need to think on this. Have the princess possessed you? Fun. I have a fun. I should probably load somewhere else. Hold on. Because I think I had. Oh shit. I had another thing. Where is it? Where is it? Is it this? Load. Um. OK. 
Okay, what if I say no? The answer is no. This path is already worn by travel and has been seen by one of my many eyes. You cannot walk it again. Change your course. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Is it because I... Take your time. I know it's a lot to think about, but I'm very good at waiting. Hold on, I think... Um... Hold on. But I dare see the prince. Is she? How should a nagging reminder that I'm wow? Yeah, I brought a knife with you. Um, well, you have to. Oh, come on, and I have. Has to say. Who's to say? I don't like. No, hold on. Because I think there is a way to not. And asked you. So there is the don't threat you would. That's right, killer. I'm not a threat to anyone. And even if I was, I don't think it's a special sheeples. I don't think most living people could I don't know. I just wanted to leave. I still just the only thing I've ever wanted was to leave this place. It, we're not up. I really the world of what doesn't and you I'm not I don't But maybe that dare see the prince it's she How should I a nagging reminder that wow yeah I don't like. She might. Oh. Those are just bones. They aren't me. Bury them. Destroy them. Whatever. That dusty pile of death is just a reminder of what you've done. It's not a fix or anything. Okay, I've given enough thought. The answer is no, I can't let you and I won't let you possess me. This path is already worn. No, by what? What? Hold on. Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? Um. On. Let me look this up. Um, wait, maybe the princess swims. Thanks for the body, killer. What are you doing? Don't see you soon. She rushes forward and then. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do-over? I'm afraid it's you collapsed. Get off. Your eyes flick back. So this is what so 
play any that is hey yeah um you can you no it, i'm hopefully no i'm not you don't need to know so you're the that's right. just off and set oh or the Maybe it's because I. Okay, now let me load. You're on a path in the woods, and you're here. Okay, um. The interior. You t Let me try He's redoing there. this. She does. Good. You walked. She's focus on the. T and there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? You step for. Oh, I'm probably chasing. So she's on our. You lunge. You feel. This is okay. Do you like? Yes, but it. But it yes, exactly. It's with your word, you but that. Okay. You open the cabin. What? Every. That's bullshit. Let me out of here. What's done is done. And there's no going back now. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. I don't trust you for shit. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's just. Fun. Um. Hell no. I do, but you're probably not going to like it. The blade. I can. He's you. You don't. Okay. Anything to get out of the cell. <sighs> I'm fine. The princess's body. You pick up the. the you're on your. Okay. Um. Proceed to the cabin. She will. She. Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the. Ca the. I feel like. I guess take the blade. Enter the basement. The room opens. I guess as you just oh, it's just before you have to and fight. Oh. Oh. The princess drip her tongues. Is that a moment? It's hmm. What the? Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job, or what? This path. Is Wait, what? What? Well done. And we all make mistakes. Uh, let me check something real quick. Something ain't right. She lets go. I, I, I just let she that. Then I won't get your rod. I'm sure, but maybe for her. Um, what if I say you won't have to feel it could that is sure. that doesn't if do you hear the way Take your time. I know it's a lot to think about. But I'm very good at waiting. We could all choose this for us. I thought we could. Perhaps this, yeah. But the. You can go through walls, can't you just leave on your own? I wish that's how it worked. But this place won't let me go. Well, yeah. The princess no. swims through the air. I didn't say. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to redo that. Great. Fuck. You know what? I'm gonna take a break. Especially because it's like I, I haven't eaten yet. So, I'm gonna take a break. I'll be back in a second and I'll, like, in that time, I'll try to figure this shit out because I have no idea how this works. What's up? 
I'm back. Uh, oh, hold on. Actually, there's something I need to do. Um, I mean, it's, it, it won't take long. Hold on. Okay, I'm back for real this time. Alright, my model works now. Okay, so I figured it out. Um, so, the reason why this doesn't work is because basically this leads to the rape scenario. Which can also be done if you play the Nightmare. Uh, and I guess because the Nightmare was the first one I did, and by extension the Rape also, uh, the game just wouldn't let me do it again. While for the other scenarios that I got double of, uh, it wouldn't. Uh, I think I played them late enough for me to never have run into this. Because I also always like reset it before it. So, smash your bones. You push through the princess and rush the pile of bones on the floor, swinging your fist down and smashing through what remains of her ribcage. The ancient bones splinter, then crumble, reduced to dust almost instantly. Even after what I've said, you still gave it your all. Such a disappointing choice. I don't think I like the person behind those eyes. I was willing to let bygones be bygones, Philip. I was willing to ignore everything you did to me so we could get out of here, together. All I ever wanted was to leave this place. All I ever wanted was to find a way back home. All right. Also, how's the audio? Because uh, I need to know because I accidentally un like when I unplugged my microphone to kind of fix the cable because it was really in the way, uh, and I accidentally deleted all my filters in the process. So, yeah, I'm gonna need to know how the audio sounds. Maybe I should move it a little bit, like this. Okay. Wherever home is. Her eyes turn from wells of sorrow to pits of wrath as she stares into you. How does violence the language you speak? They're not wrong. She forces her hand into your chest, and then... Yes? Nothing happens. Oh. Are you sure about that? So something should have happened. And yet it didn't. We're fine. Uh... Did you miss? No. No? You can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next, but it is over before you can fully conceptualize what it is. A horrific splintering, the squelching of organs, the rending of tissue, an icy, numbing pain. Oh, that sounds good. Thank you. I'm done asking. The next time I see you, I'm taking everything I owed, starting with your body. If you won't choose to give me my freedom, I'll just have to make you give it to me. She's real now. If she's making us dead, we should return the favor. Mm. Mm. Play the princess. You swing your blade towards her briefly corporeal throat. It connects. A gash widens across her neck, glowing ectoplasm leaking from the wound. But it's too little, too late. In her hand, you realize she clutches your still beating heart. It thumps unsettlingly. Did we get her? Um, 
Technically. Even if we didn't, we've given her something to remember. <laughs> See you soon, killer. Ah, oh, she's so cute. I'm afraid you'll never know. As she crushes your precious organ in her hand, everything goes dark. And you die. Sounds about right. Yeah, the wraith. Um... You're on a path in the wood. The deck stacked is come on. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna just skip through all of this and I'm gonna run away. Because turn on the leaf. Begging you don't do this. You're going to damn everything to oblivion. You have to do something. You can't just walk away. You don't tell me what to do. Here we are. Walking away despite your protestations. You can only bend the rules so much, huh? You can talk all you want, but you can't. Why are the cute ones crazy? I don't know. I mean, I think here it's justified. I mean, we are the ones who murdered him. For all so. our sakes, that you change your mind before it's too late. Wait, something isn't right. Can you still hear me? No, shut up. What's going on? Okay, hold on. This should be different. I, I hope. That son of a bitch flipped over the table, didn't he? The world around you is unwound. It's physical matter replaced by a textured nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. There is a distant rumbling. A sound of many sounds. Undulation pulsed louder as something other comes close. That which dwells in the empty spaces contracts across the edges of your mind again. She is furious. Betrayal. Every door you close on me is a door you close on yourself. Do you want to linger here, entwined with a creature you taught to hate you forever? Eternity never ends. Cold spite. Our infinite, our infinities shrink into something less. I hate you, 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 I hate you. I hate you. Anger. Why, why have you come back? Okay. Okay, hold on. Um, actually, let me... Before I go back, I do want to... The blade. You Who's... She sat down there. Um... I'm here to kill you. Yeah. Great job. She's focused on... You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Yeah, it wasn't a joke. I know. You brought a knife with you and everything. But you don't have to try and kill me. You could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground and give the two of us a chance to talk things out. She makes a compa- Oh, shit. Don't you dare. It's fine. Turn your grip. You ignore. You. You step forward. Oh, I'm pro- So. She and say the princess. You lunge. You oh wait, fresh, no. Easily give way and look. No, 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 no. That's. Your honor. Your. Okay. Um. The. You. Who's there? She done. Just checking oh, on you. It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. You walk down the stairs, she focus on the- And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Just here to then talk. Why did you she makes a- Don't you- it's Tighten your grip. You- You- You step forward. I'm probably- So- She's- Yeah, there we go. Alright. If ho though she's- We can still- Finish the job. You excuse can you not the two of you Oh the two the, 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 you, but you don't have time to worry over your honor your There we go. The adversary proceeds to the cabin. Oh she loved it. The proceed into the cabin. Uh enter the base. Night, as long as the perfect, is this is good as much as Looks like she could. Oh, it's you, but no. Um. I'll be waiting. You make your way. Wait, no. Blade from the great. You know, we could just stay here. Who says we have to fight to the? Hey, I say that. 
Staying up here doesn't solve anything. All it does is kick the can down the road. If you don't deal with her now, she will find a way out. Those doors are made of stone and she's still in chains. She's strong, yeah, but is she break her chains and smash through stone strong? Wouldn't it be exciting if she was? Yes, she is. Here's another idea. What if we just leave? Absolutely not. If you leave, she'll leave. And that'll be the end of everything as we know it. We're leaving. I'm tired of waiting. You thought you could just leave me down here, didn't you? But I can feel you trembling on the other side of this door. There's nowhere left for you to run. My cabin shakes as the princess throws herself against the basement door. We're, we're fine, right? If we had a weapon, we'd be fine. I mean, it's right there. Yes, you should probably pick up the blade, shouldn't you? I know I'd feel a lot safer with it. Or you can act. Another impact shakes the cabin, a massive gash splitting its way up the stone doors. She comes. The doors explode outwards, shards of stone clattering against the walls as the princess emerges from the basement. After everything we've been through, I can't believe this is going to end with you cowering in a corner. You're pathetic. We're doomed. Yes, we are. In a fit of violence, the princess explodes across the room and cloaks. She is merciless. With every blow comes, I hate this. With your body a shape, you just you hear a snap. There we go. The floor. You're on par. In All right. Move. We've if that. You're still this. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, yes. Oh, Shut up. Yeah. So Shut up. Please. Okay. Um. I'm done with this. Bye. Are Turn you around serious? Fine. You walk away from the cabin. Let's see how that goes for you. Something isn't right. Can you still hear me? Everything is getting... Wh what's going on? Where are we? We're dead, obviously. I told you we shouldn't have come here. I told you. But did you listen? No. Un uh, I forgot my glasses. Found them. I should probably clean them. Alright. The world around you is unwound. Is unwound. Unwound? Uh, how do you even say that? <clears throat> the world around you is unwound. It's physical matter replaced by a textured nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. There is a distant rumbling. A sound of many sounds. Undulations. Pulse louder as something other comes close. Desperate, please. I do not hate you. I am sorry I said I hate you. I do not have to hate you. We can still leave this place together. An offering. We can be friends. Ecstasy. You are elated. You have never felt more elated than you feel now. Everything is good. You cannot remember what it's like to feel other than euphoric joy. A reminder that... A reminder, we can be worse than enemies. Agony. You are torn into a million pieces and you feel pain in each of them. You have never felt more miserable than you feel now. You cannot remember what it is like to feel anything other than anguish. Mercy. You are elated again. You have never felt more elated than you feel now. In contrast to the agony you've suffered, this elation is better than all of the other elation you have experienced. Round eyes looking up at you. I need more vessels so that I can be finished. I cannot find them on my own, for they are me. You are the only one who can do this. You are my only salvation. Bargaining. What can I do to make you stop? Okay, hold on, let me just really quickly, um, how many more? Uh, there's like a couple of them, uh, so bargaining, anger, denial,
Depression and acceptance. There's two more. Okay. You're here. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the. Okay, proceed into the cabin. The interior blade. Take the blade. Enter the basement. Who's there? She stood. Then the stairs. And there you are. Uh, uh, uh. Are you here? Then drop the knife. We should. It'll go a long way to building trust with her. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Um. That you're good. You ignore the trembling in your. You poor. You step forward. I'm probably chained up. So. She's on our. Um, not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Say the princess. Doubt, unfor a moment of distracted feels. Oh, though she's on your we can Give up. Do you see? This is the end. Is this real? She plop and she le Let's do everything goes. Your honor, your. Lead to the cabin. She will. You be just a great risk to proceed into the if cabin. That's what you want. The interior, the black what we don't. Uh, take the blade. I actually don't remember this part all that well. Enter the basement. The part is still up. Is you need to get shit up. Making the, the chain the little evil. Uh, tighten your grip. Kneel. No. Kneel. Oh, your leg. That the last time. What your spell? No. He's bad. Uh. Remain silent. Do you think holding such a thing? Perhaps you can do it. No, don't know. That's your pick up. You push forward. Stand. Stand. You can feel a creak. The princess. To defy. What you? And this. Oh, will your hand lift? Uh. I forgot. I think either one works. Say no, yourself. You the blade. Look at it. But you is that? That's impossible. You're a no. I don't. You, no, no. You would find everything. Yeah, okay. Your honor part. Oh, excuse. This is the. And I'm this. Oh, no, I is it not. No, you're not. Look, you two. Okay, so you know what he's talking yet. Yeah. Do you hit? Shut up. Run away. But a great and horrible. Okay, job. never mind. I don't think this one can do much. Say the princess. Your body. Stop as you take another leg. Those. You. I'm on it. Your other hand. Say the princess. You can, you know, take your stop as you finish with the princess. Beard, perhaps there. Oh, yeah, it's not at least. Say the princess. I said no. It's pointless, but you're not the one resisting me. Is Wait. that a person? This. That's impossible. You're a shrew. No, no, no. I Wait. Don't... You. No, no. You will. I know everything. Uh, what? Oh, say the princess. Your body slip. Shut up. As you take another step forward, then it's like now. Those are it's you. I'm on it. Your other hand. What a pivot. Slay the princess. Or you can pathetically struggle against yourself until the floor of this. You continue to approach. You know this will aim to draw the one making stop. As you finish crossing the room, you fall to your knees at the princess's feet, your chest heaving as your blood pools in the crevices of the stone floor, the coppery taste coating your princess kneels down, lifting your chin. Your devotion is misplaced. You've surrendered to delusion. But something about your defiant spirit speaks to me. You are different than you were before. Perhaps. 
If you've learned your lesson, I can spare you from the release of death. There is a place at my side for you, if you'll have it. Not as an equal, but as something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps, or a pet. Well, that's the main. Yes, it's, I think, at least one of you is saying. Nice this path is already worn. Wait, what? Oh, it doesn't let me. Okay. Uh, great. I have to restart then. Uh, cool. Your honor. Your. Okay. Let's try this again. That was a waste of time. The interior. Okay. Let's just enter without picking up the knife. Just checking in on you. You walked out. I. See what I can do. Your only ma Thank you. No, you walk their last. I'm guessing you made down. Okay. Witness. Um. You tried to. The easier. I heard the door. There's a slot. If I could. She but she rips the floor. You. Okay. <sighs> You cut the blade is perchy. No, how thing? No, uh, wait, watch. What are you doing? Stop your focus. Thank you. There's no she pound, but it's not a it has much everything. The witch? Oh, I thought path. you're here. All right, sure, that that's fine. See to the cabin. She don't want see to the cabin. The interior of the uh take the blade you take where the fast enter the basement the Sorry, she, she look do you find thank you can just and there that's not for so good she uh, that's caught where you're no, I'm, is just let don't So much for better as you close she go up this as you brush the silk. We were she bright and for as the print. Maybe we are we've got no idea. None of us have that's not nobody the way. We're no I don't know. Excuse you and the print. Go out fighting. The the first tier. <laughs> and then... There you go. The wild. Oh wait. We are his gaze. No, 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 that's all wrong. You're, that's not that's not a thing. That's bad. Let's get I can't run from this. Okay, never mind. <sighs> of course. Okay. Um. You take where? Uh, the the of. Sorry. She she. Do you find? Thank. You can just end there. That's not so good. She. Uh, that's caught where you know. I'm it. Just let don't. Without so much for better as you close to a woman, this is what yeah. as you brush the silk. From we brush, she bright in for as the prince. Maybe we could, uh, we've got no idea. You'll none of us ever what that's nice. Nobody is the prince. Wait, we're no, I don't know. Excuse me, you and the prince. That. Um, give up and wait for your death. The blade, ugh, the prince, at least she is the roots twit first. No, nope, no, nope, that leads to the same thing. Okay, um. Okay, I think what I have to do is, I take the blade, enter the basement, and then give her the blade. You can just and there. That's not then so let her good. kill me, and then we can run from that, just let don't. I think. Uh, give her the blade. You Give her the You're blade. Going to get you tossed, she, uh, I... you hear her, she, oh, luckily, oh, she could... What do you think happens now? If you're like someone I know, you're probably going to kill oh, me. Hey, that someone is me, and yes, you're right. That is exactly what I would do. 
<laughs> her shoulders tense and her eyes dart away. You know me too well. Yeah. The princess I do. grits her teeth and her cunning gaze once again meets yours. And then what? Cool. The glee dances across <laughs> the prince what? but you don't everything your honor she for the all right. really doesn't make there we go. Right. Now we can finally get the fuck out of here. That's what you think is best. Good choice. Flip the table. Let's get out of here. Are you serious? Fine. You walk away from the cabin. We'll see how that goes for you. Wait, something isn't right. Can you still hear me? Everything is getting fuzzy. What what's going on? Where are we? I like it. Seems like it's got great acoustics. <laughs> that son of a bitch flipped over the table, didn't he? He sure did. Whatever that means. The world around you is unwound. It's physical matter replaced by a textured nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. There is a distant rumbling. A sound of many sounds. A sound of many sounds. Undulations pulse louder as something other comes close. Dejection. Feelers limp against your soul. Why? Long silence. A hollow heart. I don't want to see you. Oh damn. Just like that. Depression. You don't know what you're doing. I guess I don't. You're on a path in the woods. You're here. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. The interior of the cabin. The blade. Um. All right. Enter the basement without the blade. Oh, this door. Uh, I'm here to save Wait, you. Really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. I see. You're trying to get her to lower her guard. It's a gamble, but it might work. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. I'm quite ugly. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. She's beautiful. I am begging. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Okay, um, also. Oh, that's the volume. Oh, damn, this keyboard is revolutionary. Holy shit. You were lying when you said you were here to rescue her, but regardless of your intentions, breaking her out of those chains would be a big mistake. Don't even try it. You're only. Thank you. No, you they're last. I'm guessing you don't. Maybe down. Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Or if that- If we were to some- You tried to- You easy- easier. I heard the- There's a sl- If I could- She barely has a- She ripped the blade for- You won't- Um. Alright. Slay the princess. Without hesitation, you bring the blade down the wound. Okay. Yes. The prince wounded. You've a thought an arm. Don't. As you read, you'll not forget. Though your nerve, you see, we give up. Are you sick of her? We get up. This is the before you can. The beast. Okay. Your I your think I can do this again. She will. Does she? The blade. You take the blade from the. T She can pay. You carefully make the the jungle. You doesn't hurt. I am a shiver. Yes, sh shut up. Okay. Um. You lie in it before you. Yes. You work such a if you. She. You can. Maybe she's caught. We're on the back. He doesn't. 
This isn't good. If we keep the print, that she rears back. Yeah. Yeah. So then, you're on a path, yeah. you went separate. Oh, and we go well now. He and I'm done. Coward. Bye. Deserter. Turning our back to her. Always a mistake. You serious? Fine, you walk away from the cabin. See how that goes for you. Wait, something isn't right. Can you still hear me? Everything is getting fuzzy. What? What's going on? Where are we? A dark place. Thoughts like us shouldn't be here. I told you we shouldn't have come here. I told you. But did you listen? No. Alright. This should be the last one. The world around you yeah. The world around you is unwound. It's physical matter. Replaced by a textured nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. There's a distant rumbling. A sound of many sounds. Undulation pulse louder as something. Oh, God. Undulations pulse louder as something other comes close. The feelers hold you in a gentle caress. Resignation. I cannot stop you. But our spool is nearly taut. A warning. If you come here again, you will be here forever. Acceptance. This is it. Well, now I'm curious. You're on a path in the woods. Um. You're here. You make your way up. Uh, what's one that I didn't do? The interior of the blade. Oh, I guess I didn't do. Oh no, I did. Yeah, I did. Hold on. Let me check. Um. The beast I did. Dam. Oh yeah, the damsel. Okay, let's do that. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you. Nah, they're large. I'm guessing made down. Okay. With some. Uh, return to the bottom of the stairs. It'd be easier. I have... There's a slot. If I could. She, but she rips her flesh from her. It's the blade, or you won't. Okay. I don't have a choice. <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment. You place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm. Just above you cut into the blade is her limb. She no. She smart happy. No. We won't have any as the prince wait watch. Warn her. Stop. Your body lunges forward. Resist. The blade does she know Almost. she plunged oh. what she does apparently <laughs> with what can't just oh everything. Okay, the damsel. Alright, uh, proceed to the cabin. She will love if I but he love I do should have. The interior the Uh take the blade. I suppose there's no Enter the basement. The door to the basement. But a so How okay, we don't Yes, for ever you walk down the stairs and my you know she may Oh your spirit. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Okay, check on you later. Got to go. My friends are waiting for me at the bar. All right, have fun. That's where only you wait. Nothing horrible now. Wait, are you? All right. Um, slay the princess. Wait, but you ignore your. Uh, no, I'm so good. Yes, you raise. Yes, right. And that's what you want to. Do, and let's see what happens. What? No, let's not do that. You won't use your fancy reverse psychotherapeutics on me, murderer. We're dying together right now. 
all of you may have previously thought that my passions were too great to stifle, but those were merely passions of joy. My passions of sorrow run deeper than the ocean itself, and you'll find that they are far more unstifleable. Haven't you? Haven't you all? I don't believe this. What? What don't you believe? <laughs> you plunge the blade into your own heart and collapse to the floor. You can't be serious. Why are you helping him? I'm not. He just made it happen. I'm sorry. That's right. You're Everything goes dark. Okay. You're on a path. You oh, great. You okay. Oh, if you so you Shut up. And if you don't Shut up. Would, uh, can I? Well, I'm good. Can I? Okay. Bye. You can't run from your consequences forever. One way or another, you'll have to face what you've done. Let's see what we can find. It's bound to be more interesting than doing the same thing over again. Wait, something isn't right. C can you still hear me? You're supposed to wind up at the cabin, but everything is getting faster. W what's going on? Where are we? I don't know. But it feels like home. Of course. Oblivion is what we deserve. The world around you is unwound. It's physical matter replaced by a textured nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. There's a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds. Undulations pulse louder as something other comes close. Oblivion. The many feelers pull your shape into something formless. You have made a decision. It's the wrong one. I love you. You are bliss. Joy and understanding everywhere. At once, your soul threatens to fade away. I love you. You are agony. A numbing arm, a parched throat, an open wound, your soul forced back into existence. I love you. You are bliss, joy and understanding everywhere at once. Your soul threatens to fade away. I love you. You are agony, a numbing arm, a parched throat, an open wound, your soul's way. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, this is new. Exist. You are bliss. Alright, consciousness f it fades away. Just as you once were nothing, so you become nothing once again. Oh, what? Oh shit, this starts the credits. Our song finished the game. The good ending doesn't count. Oh shit. Uh I don't wait, play our other game. Hold on. What's the other game? Scarlet Hollow. Ooh. I've heard of this game actually. Okay. Well done, this sounds interesting. I didn't know they were made by the same person. By the same devs. Uh, hold on. Scar... Scarlet... Hollow. I mean, it's 19 bucks. That shit is way too fucking... That shit costs way too fucking much. Hmm. 
I don't know. I'll save it for another time. Alright, anyway. Um, return to main menu. Load game. Uh Die. If you don't swing your weapon, your body comes to a juddering halt as she rips her hand from your chest. In her clenched fist is your still beating heart. But that's ours. See you soon, killer. She crushes it. Blood and ruin. Okay, hold on. Load. Okay, how about step away? You do your best to pull away, but it's as if her arm embedded in your body is rooting you in place. Leaving so soon. You can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next, but it is over before you can fully conceptualize what it is. A horrific splintering, the squelching of organs, the rending of tissue, an icy, numbing pain. I'm done asking. The next time I see you, I'm taking everything I owed, starting with your body. If you won't choose to give me my freedom, I'll just have to make you give it to me. She's real. Okay. Um, hold on. I just want to see this. So instead of smash your bones. Leave her in the basement. This isn't a solution. Nobody wins here. You're... You're... Oh. Uh, she's upset. Isn't she? You're abandoning me here? No, it would seem no, so. no. Yes. After everything you've done to me, you've chosen to do more? The princess starts to float erratically from side to side, her cold exterior melting away. Just leave it. And then you're just going to be stuck here forever. Then there's nothing to do. It's just going to go on and on and on and on. Lonely and sad and hurting and empty. That girl, I can't hear you. Like, can you use one voice instead of three? No, no, not that. She's about to try something. Get ready. The princess passes through you, a chill rippling along your skin, a disappointed sigh echoing in your ears. You turn and face her as she hovers between you and the stairs. Spectral tears streak down her cheeks as she places a translucent hand on your chest. It feels cold, but otherwise like nothing at all. Are we doing the right thing? Why do I feel so sad? Don't let her get to you. It doesn't matter. Somehow, soon, this too will be over, and we'll move on to something new. I feel like you all keep forgetting. Her oh, dark-rimmed eyes fall to the floor as she speaks. I never wanted to have to hurt anybody. It's not who I wanted to be. The tears on her cheeks vanish. She lifts her head, sorrow replaced with wrath, staring into you with fiery anger. But I guess you've turned me into something worse. She forces her hand into your chest, and then... Yes? Nothing happens. Are you sure about that? S something should have happened. And yet it didn't. We're fine. You can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next, but it is over before you can fully conceptualize what it is. A horrific splintering. The squelching of organs, the rending of tissue, an icy, numbing pain. I'm done asking. The next time I see you, I'm taking everything I owed, starting with your body. If you won't choose to give me my freedom, I'll just have to make you give it to me. Uh, just real quick. Okay. Um, okay. Alright. 
She's real now. Um, yeah. All right. Pretty sure now it's the same. So let me. Say the princess harder. You swing at the princess once more, and once more, your blade cuts through nothing as she disappears. Really? Her voice chides from elsewhere in the room. You whirl around, finding her hovering between you and the basement stairs, looking you over with grim disappointment. She draws in close. I was willing to let bygones be bygones, Killer. I was willing to ignore everything you did to me so we could get out of here, together. All I ever wanted was to leave this place. All I ever wanted was to find a way back home. Wherever home is. Her eyes turn from wells of sorrow to pits of wrath as she stares into you. I like guess violence is the only language you speak. She forces her hand into your chest, and then... Yes? Nothing happens. Are you sure about that? So something should have happened. And yet it didn't. We're fine. I'm not afraid of you. Not yet. But let's see if you stay that way. You can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next. But it is over before you can fully conceptualize what it is. A horrific splintering. The squelching of organs. The rending of tissue. An icy numbing pain I'm done past you. all right um have I done all of them curious uh well I just need to say no now figures I guess we'll have to fight them the princess passes through you a chill rippling along your skin a disappointed sigh echoing in your ears you turn and face her as she hovers between you and the stairs Spectral tears streak down her cheeks as she places a translucent hand on your chest. It feels cold, but otherwise like nothing at all. Uh... Right. Are we doing the right thing? Why do I feel so sad? Don't let her get to you. It doesn't matter. Her dark rimmed eyes fall to the floor. I never wanted to have to hurt anybody. Okay, this is all the same. So, uh, I don't remember. Uh. Okay, hold on. Let me get spoke. I. I. I'm so. I. The, and then. Uh, uh, that, that, does the we I, look, I will mope about you and the prince. Oh, whoops. Hold on. I made a mistake. Uh, one. Let me guess. Spoke. I. I. So I. The print. And then. I don't. I need to tell me what you want. I just want to make you happy. She can't. I just. Is she what? Okay. This is. Oh. Is it just? Cool. No. Is that? Okay. You've unraveled. All right. So now I think. Uh, I only have the prisoner left. I'm pretty sure. Let me check. So, adversary, beast, damsel, nightmare, prisoner, razor, witch, tower, stranger, but I think that's not something I can get to, and specter. Yeah, so only the prisoner is left. Next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I guess we will. I will be here, waiting for you. Yep. Everything goes dark, and then you die. Alright, you're in the princess. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. All right. Instead of just, I think I'll, I'll redo the thing for the prisoner again, her. instead of going backwards. If you don't. Because it is the last one, so. 
you make your way up the short path to the cabin, you'll find the princess within. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, Slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Just checking in on you. It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? I'm just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it, and then we can chat? She makes a compelling point. Why don't you dare? It's fine. Drop it. The blade tumbles out of your tree. Thank you. Maybe now we can just... talk. A gate will be fine. Don't know what you're hoping to- So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Okay, we talked enough. Oh? Have you decided what to do with me? You know. I'm getting you out of here. Oh, you have to be kidding me. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large. I should, guess I, 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 I should just skip all that. I don't get why I'm not. Um. I'll be here. You attempt to You may be easier. I heard the door. The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't. Against your best, you cut. If the blade is sharp, she didn't so much as a. How is she? Thank you. No, we won't. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, wait, watch. Warn her. Stop that. I... Your body. Stop. Resist. The blade. Move. The. Blade. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. I'll make this quick. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. Maybe I'll see you in another life. And then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. This is the end, isn't it? Yep. I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. I hope it was worth it. Sure was. The prisoner, there we go. Alright. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. 
thing is, it's not actually true. I don't trust this narrator. Yes, yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. Did you just say wink out loud? <laughs> no, I didn't. Wink. Just ignore this clown and focus on the princess. Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is less a cozy woodland retreat and more like a dungeon. A few pathetic wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls, and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. The only furniture of note is an iron table, bolted to the floor, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Alright. So didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. He definitely did not. Does a mirror not count as furniture of note to you? Because it should. There isn't a mirror. There's a table, the, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. I think you know what we have to do. Exactly. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago. And now it's gone. If he doesn't want us to know about it, it must be important. We should keep our eyes peeled. Maybe it'll be back. Um... All right, now we save. Um. Enter the basement. I'm afraid I'm going to insist we take the blade. We're in a dangerous situation, and I'm not letting us go down there without a weapon. Damn. This fucking asshole. Are you sure? What if she... I don't know... turns it against us? Which I'm bringing up in a purely hypothetical manner. Yes. I'm sure. Turns it against you? She's a prisoner here. She'll only be able to turn it against you if you give it to her. Which you won't be doing because she's an existential threat to the entire world. I mean, I give it to the witch. And, like, she used it properly, so. Okay. I'm trusting you. Hey, don't I gotta say here, what's the big idea? Only, yeah, but not about this. Call it a reflex. We take the knife as we go. Wonderful. You do exactly that, sweeping the knife from the table before proceeding to the basement. Don't worry about it. We have a knife, so what? It's not like we have to use it. No, you don't have to do anything, but you do well to use it regardless. <sighs> Moving on. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an old stone staircase. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your path, dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. I wonder what visitors she could be referring to. Were we not the first? 
You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. She looks up at you, the heavy collar around her neck clanking loudly as she moves, the chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. Should we be worried about the one around her neck? Like, why would the other princesses like this? Like, shouldn't they all be pretty much barricaded in this way? Why would you be worried about her restraints? If anything, they'll make your job easier. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. <laughs> okay, um... I need this anymore. I'm not sure I need to do much of anything. Do you see how locked up she is? I'm sure... I'm... I'm just going to leave her here. As if by divine will, just as you finish the thought, you hear a door slam. I'm afraid you won't be leaving until the task is finished. It doesn't matter how many chains she's in, without your intervention, she'll find a way out eventually. That's not fair. Unless you deal with her right here, right now, she will remain an existential threat to the entire world. What seems unfair to you is fair for everyone else. Huh. So it's not even safe to think. I see how it is. How surprising. They locked you down here too. Hmm. Sit with her. You step towards the princess, but she stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Yeah. Might as well put her at ease. Sit where you were told to sit, or sit closer? Nah, sit closer. Do you think this is a game? Do you think these chains take away my say in things? Who's gonna tell her? As you move towards the princess, she stands, her chains clinking as she wraps them around her fists. In an instant, they're around your neck, both of you dropping to the ground as she pulls them taut, bracing her body against yours as you struggle uselessly. The metal chains constrict around your windpipe as the princess heaves with a muscled intensity. Drop the knife or you die. What is she doing? We weren't trying to attack her. I can see where she might have gotten the wrong idea. She doesn't have much agency here. Would we have trusted her if the roles were reversed? I don't know. How about we think about the nuances of interpersonal relationships when we're not being strangled? <laughs> How many times did I warn you she's not to be trusted? But while strangulation can be very distracting, she's not armed, and you have your pristine blade. End her before she ends you. There's a lot of choices here. Um... Slay. Steal your will and refuse to give in to the princess's demands, ignoring the stars dancing in your eyes and the screaming of your starved lungs. You strike. You fumble your first few attempts, only making surface level scratches and gouges as your arm flails forward, barely able to obey you. But a single focused blow was all it took. Your blade pierces up through her ribs, slicing through flesh, striking her heart. The chains loosen. The darkness creeping in at the edges of your vision subsides. None of this was ever very fair, was it? But I did kill you last time. I should have expected you might want some petty revenge. Unfortunately for you, that means you've dug your own grave. You can forget about me ever helping you again, even if it damns us both. 
And just like that, the princess is slain and the world is saved. Totally rational. Whenever you're ready, you can proceed to your reward. Hmm? I don't like this. It was too easy. It was not too easy. We almost died. That's right. This was an incredibly difficult task and you performed it admirably. Let's just get out of here. I don't like looking at her body. Plus, he said there'd be a reward. I'd appreciate a reward right about now. You have the attention span of a fly. How are we supposed to unravel the mysteries of this place if you're so easily distracted by empty promises? It's better to have a short attention span in a situation like this. There's no use dwelling on the past, especially when it's already set in stone. And especially when your promised reward is not, in fact, empty and is worth all the adversity you've been through to get here. Fine. But if we're leaving, then we're taking the blade. I feel exposed without it. With your work done, you remove the blade from the princess's corpse and make your way back upstairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. You can think of it as sealing yourself off from an unpleasant chapter of your life. It's all uphill from here. The windows. Do you see that? We used to be able to see the outside world from up here, but now it's just... empty. The door. Check the door. Open the door and accept your award. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. You don't have to act surprised. We could see this vast emptiness through the windows. Yeah. But if everything's gone, does that mean we're not going to get our reward? This is your reward. An eternity of bliss, if you'll have it. And I suggest that you have it. Okay. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Like hell it is. Yeah. Okay. That's bullshit. Let us out of here. I don't know, I'm pretty okay with this. I was kind of hoping that we get a better ending for saving the world. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No, this is the beginning of eternity. Your reward, like I just told you. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Decades? No, it can't be decades. We can't go along with this. We can't let him win. Mm, didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy, we're happy. What do you suggest then? I don't want to die again. I didn't like dying last time. I'm not going... I'm going to accept my reward now. I don't know, I'm pretty happy. I'm going to accept my reward now. What do you suggest? still have a blade. Let's use it on ourselves and start over. He's suggesting you kill yourself. You shouldn't kill yourself when you have an eternity of bliss right in front of you. Can you hear the narrator? I'm happy we're happy. We're not happy. He's just telling us that we are. I can tell you for a fact that I'm extremely unhappy right now. Fair. Yeah, what he said. I don't know. I'm pretty happy. I'm going to accept my reward now. That's great. Congratulations. You've earned it. More happy time passes, though the word begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is. Not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. He's just saying things. The voice's protestations fall on deaf ears. Eventually, you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. 
though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. Forever. Good ending, you did it, you saved everyone. No, you stop that. Stop all this nonsense. You really don't want to be happy, do you? Have a voice ruin your happy ending. <laughs> You know what you have to do. But I like being happy. Are you really going to take it away from me? That wasn't real happiness. The truth is still out there for us to find, but we can't find it here. Is there really no other way? Because I don't want to use the blade on myself. If it makes it easier for you, I can do it. Let me have it. Okay, um... Sorry, but we're not doing Don't that. Don't apologize. I'm sorry. Wait, why are you sorry? Your body lurches as your heart suddenly stops beating. Are you killing us? You'll forgive me eventually. <laughs> you goddamn spiteful bastard. Are you really going to turn down immortality itself just to make me lose? Yes. Why should it matter if we die at this point? Haven't you already gotten what you want? I don't have to answer that. That's all we needed to hear. It turns out that it doesn't take too long to die after your heart stops beating. You collapse to the floor, everything goes dark, and you die. You're a genocidal maniac, you know that, right? Yeah, we'll see about that. The Grey. You're on a path in the woods. See, that wasn't so bad. And now we've got another chance to get to the bottom of things. Bit by bit, we're starting to unravel this place. There are so many more threads to pull once you stop feeling. That's a little dark, buddy. You feeling okay? Um, wait, how can... Yeah, I'm going to load something else. So... Alright, drop it. As your weapon falls pathetically to the floor, the princess releases you from her stranglehold, shoving you away with a swift kick. Your hands test the bruised flesh of your neck as you regain your senses, watching with a dazed expression as the princess snatches up the blade. That wasn't so hard, was it? She pulls up her hair, smiling slightly, as she raises the blade to her throat. You can stay right where you are for this next part. What is she doing? She doesn't say another word as she cuts into her own neck. No. Uh. Uh. Watch an uneasy silence. Her eyes stare forward, unblinking, as she soars through skin, veins, cartilage. At last she reaches bone, the blade grinding audibly against her vertebra as it continues to slice its way through her neck. I'll be damned. She's actually doing your job for you. <laughs> Why would she do that? Huh. So that's her play. Killing herself? She isn't dead yet. Finally, you hear a snap. Her eye twitches. There's an uneasy silence. She remains motionless for a long moment, her twitching eye the only movement in the room, until at last it stops in an unsettling half wink. Also, how fucking long is her neck? My Jesus Christ, this girl's a giraffe. Her head twists slowly to the side, flopping to her shoulder, and her neck opens yeah i can see that the remaining tissue is not enough to hold the weight of her severed head it stretches and tears until finally it falls to the floor completely free it bounces a few times before rolling to a stop at your feet 
Oh no, oh no, oh no. What did we do? Can, can we put it back? Please tell me we can put it back. The princess's eyes stare up at you. Dead. Congratulations. You saved the world. It's more like she saved the world from herself. Are you sure she's not winking at us? Obviously not. She is thoroughly deceased. Hey, Aki. Welcome back. I hate this. Can we just get out of here now, please? Of course, the princess is slain and the world is saved. Whenever you're ready, you can proceed to your reward. We should take her with us, don't you think? What? No, you shouldn't do that. Why would you do that? I can think of lots of reasons. A trophy, proof of our victory. Hell, we could even give her a proper burial. She did save the world, right? You don't need proof. You don't need a trophy. And she doesn't deserve a burial. Just leave. Even after all that, you're still not satisfied, are you? Something is still motivating you to keep things the way you want them. I'm just eager to put this all behind us and give you your reward. Stop reading into things. The danger has passed. You can relax. I said just woke up. Here's how you. Uh, I'm doing okay. I'm still playing this game. <laughs> I think I'm almost done though. This should be the last scenario. I'm just keeping myself sharp. I'm not so eager to put my guard down. I am. I'm on team, let's put this all behind us, so can we leave already? Take the princess with you. Ugh, fine. You pick up the princess's severed head, its neck stump still oozing bodily fluids. Then make your way back upstairs to the first floor of the cabin. Did you see that? I could have sworn she moved. Yeah, her eyes are technically moving if you... Fuck. She didn't. She's dead. I mean, she's... Her eyes are moving, though. But what if she's not? Are you listening to yourself? Do I need to explain to you why decapitation is lethal? The door to your bountiful reward is right in front of you. All you have to do is open it. Leave the cabin and claim your reward. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is... Wait, no, that's not right. Well played. Talking heads. You're free of prisoner. This... this is the end of the world, isn't it? I always thought I'd at least have time to explain myself before I had to watch it happen. It's already... Over? Is he gone? But we're still here. Maybe it wasn't the end of the world after all. Maybe it was just the end of his. Thanks for carrying me up here. I had to take it on faith that you would know what to do. I'm glad I was right to trust you. So, this is the outside. Maybe it's just my lack of body, but it's colder than I expected. We don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. W where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror up there. Why is it here? Why now? Uh. Push the mirror. You approach the mirror, gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. But that is them, right? You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze, and then you see it. 
a figure that a figure faint and veiled in shadow just beyond the reflection is that a crow explorer are you me i think you know what i am oh it's the narrator a crack slides down the center of the mirror splitting the image in the glass in two And then, another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. Okay. Before I do that, let me... Uh, wait a minute, BRB, I'll... In the second account, this account is kind of laggy now. I see. Fun. Uh. You step towards the princess, but she stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. Sure. That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Might as well put her at ease. Uh, sit where you're told to sit. You do as she asks, and sit on the floor. Still a good distance away from her. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? My intentions? What do you mean? Yes, your intentions. You have a knife. What are you going to do with it? Why are you here? There isn't a keyhole in these shackles, so I'm afraid my only way out is surgical removal. Is she forgetting about the shackle on her neck? Or does she think she'd survive a beheading? I mean, she does. You're right. Maybe she's delusional. All the more reason not to trust her. Unless she really could survive. Though I suppose you could just be here to kill me. But I don't think that's in either of our best interests. I've been here before. Am I the only one who remembers that? Oh? Are we acknowledging that? I thought we weren't going to give away the game. But yeah, I remember. Okay. Welcome back. I know you're Aki, but I still can't read that name. <laughs> So you've already been here. As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. This has complicated things. It's complicated things how, exactly? Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. A contingency for what? For you failing, obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. I really shouldn't say anything else, I'm just going to make it worse. Just... good luck. If you knew this could happen, why didn't you tell us? All of this is incredibly valuable information. It would have changed our actions considerably. I needed you to be in the dark for as long as I could keep you there. It's important. Necessary, even. Uh, second account name is Edogawa Rampo. It's one of my favorite anime characters. But you can still call me Aki. I see. And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. That's pathetic. I never said I wasn't. I get it. It would be pretty upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. At least we can remember what happened before. Seems like we should count ourselves lucky for that. Exactly, he gets it. You're lucky. So don't waste that luck by messing it up again. Alright? Moving on. 
Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the dark? The more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. I won't. Is it just me or that princess looks beautiful but scary? Oh, you should have seen the ghost one from earlier. God damn, she was cute. Fine, but you won't get another word from me on the matter. Yeah, sure. We'll see about that. Just give it a rest, this isn't helping. Focus. This is a serious situation. You shouldn't be daydreaming. Oh, I'm sorry, I just got three voices in my head that just don't make me progress. They talk too much. What happened after I died last time? Nothing happened. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. And now you're back. Is that really all she knows? It's not like we have much of a clue about how things work. And she's probably even more in the dark than we are. Damn, yeah. <laughs> You're looking at me like I might be hiding something. I'm not. I guess it's possible she really doesn't know anything. Maybe both of us are stuck in this loop without any idea why or how. How am I supposed to cut you out? You didn't notice your head is, is in the shackle too. No, no. Like I trust you to come any closer with that knife. All you're going to do is hand it to me and watch me work. But she would have to cut her head off, right? She can't be suggesting that. She certainly seems confident. Maybe she knows something we don't. Yeah, we went to stream and saw the ghost, but holy crap, yeah. Or maybe you should consider the most likely scenario. She's bluffing so she can disarm you. Though if she isn't bluffing, whatever she has planned might be for her benefit alone. There's no guarantee that what's good for her is good for us. So, what should we do? I don't know. I'm just spelling out our options, listing the pros and cons. Then let me help you. I'll start with the cons. If you're handing her your weapon, the cons are that she might use it to escape and end the entire world. And she might use it to kill you. That doesn't sound great. What about the pros? There are none. The pros are that we can't trust him. Possibly even more than we can't trust her. And whatever she has planned could do something to mess with what he has planned. Or maybe they're both screwing us over in their own ways. Uh, how many... Qu oh my god, there's too many fucking questions. Uh, that other chain on the wall, who is it for? I don't know, but you could always try it on. I'm tempted. Maybe it'll fit. I'm so tempted. I hope I don't actually have to say this, but please don't <laughs> lock yourself in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save the world. Wait, why is your name red but you're green? I literally got asked that like a couple hours ago. Uh, but I have a I have a clip. If you check my channel, there's a clip on it that where I explain it. But I'll um. Okay, hold on. Let me save this. Basically, my original artist decided to troll me, and I and. <laughs> So, things happened. Inspect the shackle. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, I'm going to. And why is that? Do I even need to explain myself? It's a shackle and it's one without a key. Do you want to be stuck here like she is? Yes. And what? Is it going to lock the second we put our wrist into it? I don't know. Maybe it will. He doesn't want us to look at it. That's all the reason we need to investigate. But what if he's telling the truth? He isn't. I am. Inspector Shackle. 
Against your better judgement, you approach the chain dangling from the far wall. The princess watches you with faux disinterest as you inspect it, though she can't fully hide her curiosity. I don't want to say what I'm supposed to say next. What is that supposed to mean? It sounds bad. Is it bad? What do you think? Yes, it's bad. Come out and say it then. You're just wasting time. Fine. As you hoist the shackle, its heft shifts within your grasp, as if pulled by some odd magnetism. Before you can so much as blink, it practically leaps from your hands, snapping around your neck. Of course it does. And, as if your situation weren't bad enough, the same magnetism repels your blade, which is flung from your hand and sent skittering across the floor of the basement. Um, excuse me? <laughs> yes? Are we stuck here now? You don't say. Prism of the Mind. Yes. Huh, so it does fit. And I guess it doesn't like your knife. We're stuck here together, aren't we? That's funny. Pretty much is. What are we supposed to do now? Can't even cut ourselves out. Guess we'll starve. That's horrible. It's not all bad. We learned a valuable piece of information. Not to touch things we're specifically told not to touch? No, that there's something special about this loose chain. It's clearly important. So we're both stuck here. What should we do now? Did you notice what's going to happen to me? Wait in silence. So we're both stuck here. Yep. Simple but effective. What should we do? Wait, I guess. Maybe something else will happen. Maybe not. Did you notice what's going to happen to me? No. No one for small talk, are you? Nope. That's rude. Damn. She's just like me, for real, for real. Wait in silence. You and the princess wait in silence, though neither of you knows what you're waiting for. But you're waiting for something. Death. You're waiting for anything. Again, death. This is so boring. There must be something we can do to get out of here. There must be something we're missing. But there isn't. Time passes. I got it now. Took a took a little long to find the clip, but I got it now. Uh, I thought it was my channel trailer. Shouldn't it be like the first video that pops up when you open the channel? If it not, I have to fix that. And passes and passes, and the basement of the cabin remains much the same. It is cold and silent. At least the world is safe. It isn't. You're stuck. Too far away from both the princess and your blade to do much of anything. But she's not ending anything. She's just sitting there. Her very existence is a threat. It harms everything around it. How exactly does that work? It just does. But your line of questioning is interrupted by the passage of even more time. And after that, even more time passes again. And let me guess, the cabin remains the same. If time is passing, the cabin can't be the same. Even if the differences are small, they have to exist. That's just how things work. What time is it for you? It's almost midnight. Uh. I suppose you're correct. Things are changing. The differences are small at first. A bit of weathering here, a bit of erosion there. Then they get larger and larger. Hey, have you noticed the basement changing? I don't like small talk, remember? Still rude. Continue to wait in silence. You continue to wait in silence, and the cabin continues to change. The decay comes faster now. You can see earth through holes in the stonework, can watch lichen spread along the seams of the walls. 
That doesn't make sense. Has our entire concept of time changed? What happened to starving? We should have died by now if the rocks around us are starting to erode. She hasn't starved. I guess she hasn't. Even more silent time passes as you watch roots push themselves through the increasingly porous walls of the basement. Dirt seeps inside, flowing across the stone floor like a liquid, covering the ground and threatening to swallow you both. Time continues to pass, and pass, and pass. Until suddenly, there are no walls. And then... And... I think he's gone. Oh. Would you look at that? We made it out of the cabin, and nothing bad had to happen to either of us. So this is the outside world. It's cold. But you did not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Okay, hold on. Before I do that. Princess' hair looks gorgeous, but she's a psycho. Too bad she's a psycho. Uh, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> not giving you a weapon. The last time we met, your body tried to kill me. If you take a moment to imagine yourself in my position, I think you'll understand why letting you near me with that thing is untenable. Yeah, that's fair. So, be a good bird and hand it over. And if being nice isn't enough motivation, well, I think you're aware that I'm not afraid to resort to violence. If you come near me with that thing, I will strangle you with these chains. Ah, oh, don't worry, I already did that. Um, she doesn't beat around the bush, does she? Yes, it's almost like she's a fundamentally bad person who wishes to inflict pain on others. Or it's another bluff. It's not. I tried. No hard feelings, of course. But you should be aware of my position. So you've already been here. As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. This has complicated things. It's complicated things how, exactly? Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process, you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. A contingency for what? For you failing, obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. I really shouldn't say anything else, I'm just going to make it worse. Just... Good luck. If you knew this could happen, why didn't you tell us? All of this is incredibly valuable information. It right, would have changed our first. actions considerably. Alright, have a good meal. I needed you to be in the dark for as long as I could keep you there. It's important. Necessary, even. And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. That's pathetic. I never said I wasn't. Yeah, we know. I get it. It would be pretty upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. At least we can remember what happened before. Seems like we should count ourselves lucky for that. Exactly, he gets it. You're lucky, so don't waste that luck by messing it up again. Alright? Moving on. Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the dark? The more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. 
want. Fine. But you won't get another word from me on the matter. Yeah, sure. We'll see about that. Just give it a rest. This isn't helping. Focus. This is a serious situation. You shouldn't be daydreaming. Um, you realize that I have as much reason to distrust you as you have to distrust me, right? I do. So I guess this all comes down to which of us caves first. And it's not going to be me. I'm extremely patient. I mean, better if we take I anyway. sat through 17 no hours of this game. Around. I think I'm That's also extremely patient. If you don't give up now, then I have no choice but to slay you. That attitude is exactly why I don't trust you to get close while you're holding a knife. If that's unacceptable to you, then try me. See what happens. She sure was quick to threaten you, wasn't she? Stop hesitating already. You know you can't trust her. Both of them are using the same argument. It's not making it any easier to pick a side. Well, let me check something real quick. So... Also, wait. You're the one in chains. If anyone should be negotiating here, it's you, not me. Usually you'd be right, but this isn't exactly a usual situation. I'm not someone you can wait out. We've already been over this. I'm more patient than you'll ever be. Uh, wait a minute. Something isn't right. Uh, let me check. Uh... Um... Okay, hold on. So... I think I'm just going to leave you here. You're not much of a threat to anyone locked up like that. Bye. Oh, you bastard. You'll regret this. The door locked behind us the last time we tried that, remember? As if by divine will, just as you finish the thought, you hear a door slam. I'm afraid you won't be leaving until the task is finished. It doesn't matter how many chains she's in, without your intervention, she'll find a way out eventually. That's not fair. Unless you deal with her right here, right now, she will remain an existential threat to the entire world. What seems unfair to you is fair for everyone else. Huh. So it's not even safe to think. I see how it is. I told you that you'd regret saying that. But I didn't think you'd regret it so fast. 
and with so little effort on my part. I guess we're stuck together. I suppose so. Um... Fine. If you want to leave, I'm going to be the one with the weapon. Deal with it. Cut on your own. Do you think these chains take away my saying things? I said no. As you move towards the princess, she stands, her chains clinking as she wraps them around her fists. In an instant, okay. There Never mind, this is all the same. Okay. Um... You don't have to do anything, but fine. Let's see if you'll live to regret trying to kill me. I am not a damsel to be helplessly murdered. As you move oh, to strike the, the princess, she stands, her chains clinking as she wraps them around her fists. In an instant, they're around your neck, both of you dropping to the ground as she pulls them taut. Drop it, or you die. I thought this was going to be a safe move, but she's going to kill us again. Just listen to her. Do what she says. How many times did I warn you she's not to be trusted? But while strangulation can be very distracting, she's not armed, and you have your pristine blade. End her before she ends you. Hmm. Well done. Okay, hold on. Let me... You goddamn spiteful bastard. Are you really going to turn down immortality itself just to make me lose? Why should it matter if we die at this point? Haven't you already... I that so you okay, hold on. Okay. You're on a path in the woods. See? That wasn't so bad. And now we've got another chance to get to the bottom of things. Bit by bit, we're starting to unravel this place. There are so many more threads to pull once you stop feeling. That's a little dark, buddy. You feeling okay? I'm feeling nothing. And I like that just fine. He's not wrong. Sentimentality won't help us here. We need scientific rigor. So you've been here before. Of course you've been here before. What count is it this time? Two? It's our third. What gave it away? Your open discussions. You came around on that awful fast. Have you just been pretending to forget every time? I'm afraid not. Whatever other versions of me you've met in those other lifetimes were just that. Other versions of me. I just wish I'd been the first. So you knew how all this worked. Why didn't you ever tell us? We could have used it to our advantage. That's because there is no using it to your advantage. The more information you have, the harder it will be for you to succeed. It's not like it was that difficult to slay her last time. She may have put up a fight. But her flesh is still softer than our blade. And now she's dead. And I doubt she'll be able to do much of anything from the grave. You already slew her. And you survived. Yes. Then why, pray tell, are you here? Oh, I know that one. We killed ourselves. <laughs> why? Because you thought trying to stuff us away in a corner for eternity was a suitable reward. Was it not? What better reward is there than eternal bliss? You should have been happy. We weren't. We were bored. You were bored? I was just unhappy. <laughs> there were still answers that we needed to find. It was actually working. 
and you killed yourself. I can't believe it. You ruined everything. How does us dying ruin everything? What aren't you telling us? The world doesn't stay saved if you die. And if the world isn't saved, then that means she isn't dead. Oh, now isn't that interesting? I assumed she'd just be a pile of old bones, but perhaps she's not. There's only one way to find out. We should go see her. It's raining. It wasn't raining last time or the time before that. The whole path is different. Yes, things are different, aren't they? If this isn't the same path in the woods you're used to, that means that her influence is already spreading and you're running out of time. Her influence? What's that supposed to mean? It means exactly what I said. Don't overthink it or you run the risk of making your task so much more difficult than it has to be. And forget I said oh. anything. I've probably already made things worse and I need to stop talking about this now before I definitely make things worse. Tell us your secrets. Haven't we been through enough? Don't we deserve to know? No. Is there a reason it would be raining? If there is, it doesn't matter. If a bit of rain is the best her influence can conjure, then we have nothing to worry about. A drenched corpse is still a corpse. What happens if we don't go to the cabin? Whatever happens next seems like her answer. Yeah, okay. She'll find a way out eventually, and the world will still end. The only way this resolves is if you find her and slay her before that happens. We already know he wants us to slay her. Anything he says is tainted by his motivations. Turn around and leave. Go to the cabin. I'm fine with either. So long as we don't just do the same thing again. All right, proceed to the cabin. I'm sure you've already heard my words of warning in one of your past lives. You've already managed to slay her once, just don't muck it up this time, all right? What we do is entirely up to us. And we have all those mysteries to unravel. Isn't that right? You aren't here to solve a mystery. You're here to save the world. That's what you say. How can we be sure? We can't be sure of anything except what's right in front of us. Okay, but we should care about the fate of the world. Why? <laughs> because, because we should. I, I don't know. It's important. I don't think it is. Is it? Yes. I, I think. For all we know. The world you're talking about isn't even real. Honestly, I don't think it is. That's the of thing. Of course it's real. Where do you think you are? Somewhere else? Maybe we are. This is horribly unproductive. The cabin and your extremely important destiny await. As soon as you enter the cabin, you're struck by an overwhelming scent of decay of mold and death and stagnant water. The once stately wooden building is bloated, its beams dripping with a black ooze of putrefaction, all but the exterior stone walls warped beyond recognition. It must have been beautiful once, but in its ruin, it is beyond repulsive. But you're not alone. You can feel something watching you. There is a figure faintly outlined against the rotting wood of the wall. Is that... her? It's like she isn't even there. See? He killed her. You're right. Maybe she doesn't reset like us. She certainly doesn't look the same as she did last time. Before you can make a move, the figure is gone, vanishing behind the door on the far side of the room. The door at the end of the room, but there isn't a door, it's just that damn mirror again. 
Yes, the mirror that he can't see. The mirror? Is this some kind of joke? Did you all plan this out before dying? There is no mirror. There's the door to the basement, the table, and the pristine blade. Huh. That's strange. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Maybe it's gone because we've already killed her with it. But we had it with us when we died. And besides, everything else has reset. Why wouldn't the blade have reset too? Maybe it's because we've already explored that avenue. We've seen what happens when we slay her. Maybe this place has decided we don't need to try that again. I suppose it doesn't matter why the blade is gone, but you're going to have to find it if you're going to do this right. So why don't you march over to that door and make your way down to the basement? But there's no door. If this is anything like last time, the mirror will disappear as soon as we try and touch it. I'm sure the door is just behind it. You're clearly hallucinating, but I'd rather not get into it with you right now. The door to the basement is on the far side of the room, whether you can see it or not. Approach the mirror. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You must think you're looking at that mirror you mentioned earlier, the one that doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open the door. It's still so hazy. We should try and clean it off. Yes. Trying to touch it does seem to be the magic spell to get it out of our way. Maybe it won't disappear this time, but we'll finally get a good look at ourselves. We should explore every option. I have the mirror clean. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. The handle is just a little to your right, and a little down. Yeah, we can see it now. So much for our reflection. We didn't need to see ourselves anyway. I'm much more interested in seeing other things. No way left to go but down. Enter the basement. The door to the basement groans open. The air is foul and wet, so thick that you can almost feel it settle onto your skin in layers of grime. The stairs are coated with slimy algae, the wood rotted through in places, reeking of fetid vegetation. Wait, this is different, actually. A wispy figure watches you from the bottom of the stairs, face veiled in shadows, legs submerged up to her shins in dark waters. There she is again. Barely. She's just an old memory. Your eyes lock for a brief moment, then she vanishes around the corner. Sorry about last time, are we good? Is anyone there? I think we have a lot to talk about. I don't have a weapon. There wasn't anything upstairs for me when I got here. Sorry about last time. Are we good? We receive no response. Do you think she's upset with us? No. I don't like being here unarmed after what happened last time. I feel so exposed. She doesn't seem fully there. I'm not sure she's even capable of being upset. You aren't helping. Are you scared of a little ghost? What's she going to do? Look at us until we feel bad. She can look all she wants. It won't do anything. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A bloated body floating face down in slowly rising waters. Her wrist still bound to the wall by a heavy chain. This cell is a dark and isolated place with not so much as a window to allow starlight to penetrate the gloom. See? She's dead. She's not just dead. It looks like she's been rotting. So killing her does stink. Mostly. But if she's dead, then what are we supposed to do? She isn't dead. You clearly just believe she is. Her corpse is floating right in front of us. You can stop it with the mind games. If she's dead, then do we even have to do anything? How can she be a threat to the world like this? Your thoughts are cut short by the sound of a slamming door and a clicking lock. You turn to see the shade of the princess staring down at you from the top of the stairs. So that's where the blade is. It's already in her heart. 
And yet she isn't dead. She is dead. Have you never heard of a ghost before? Oh, for the love of... Can we not waste time arguing over the semantics of what is and isn't dead? She is clearly conscious. She clearly just slammed the door on you, and she clearly has a weapon. Your pristine blade sticking out of her chest. This is extremely bad. Catastrophic, even. Yet, yeah, dead or not, what are we supposed to do about her? Slaying or destroying, if we want to be a little more death-neutral, seems off the table. Yeah, this is tricky. But let's talk to her. See what kind of information she has that we don't. But she hasn't said anything. Are you sure she can talk like this? Bold of you to come back here after what you did. Why did you close the door? I mean, are you trying to kill me? What's wrong with you? I don't want this. I only killed you after you killed me first. Where are you even now? We don't need to do this again. But she doesn't answer your question. All she does is watch you in shadowed silence. Do you hear that trickling sound? The water's rising, isn't it? It is, and it's rising fast. Well, that's interesting. We've never drowned before. I wonder how it'll feel. Bad, I bet. <laughs> I don't think dying ever feels good. I'm sure there's some way it feels good. Yes, how astute. Dying is bad and you should avoid it. How about you stop trying to talk to her and do something instead? Um. Is this about last time? Sorry, not gonna let me out. <laughs> yeah. The water is rising faster now. It's flowing in from some unseen place, and judging by the height of the algae on the stairs, it has no intention of stopping any time soon. You feel it creeping up your back, so cold that it steals the very warmth from your flesh, leaving a smothering numbness in its place. Are you really just going to stand there and let yourself die? Yeah, let's think. Where is it coming from? It's coming from some unseen place. Does it really matter where it's coming from? Because I can feel it rising. I don't think we have much time to sleuth. Yes, it matters. Maybe we can find a way out. Maybe we can figure out a way to make this work. This is just a puzzle. We can solve it. Some things aren't puzzles to be solved. Sometimes you're doomed from the start. Most people are. Yes, most people are doomed. But in case you need reminding, Everyone will be doomed forever, unless you stop her. Mm. Rush for the blade. The princess eyes you with a disaffected gaze as you rush up the stairs, but you don't make it past the first few steps. bursts open, a powerful wave of water crashing down towards you, and you're swept up in the flood. Your head slams into the basement wall. You come to a moment later, suspended in darkness, disorientated, only aware of the surface of the water and the emptiness above. And of course, the princess, hovering above you, watching in silence as you struggle to stay afloat in the icy depths. There's no way out. It's so dark and cold. I think our limbs are slowing down. How much longer can we do this? Just keep breathing. We'll figure this out. Or we won't. It doesn't matter either way. But you don't have time to figure anything out. Something cold and clammy wraps around your ankle. You're dragged under, only able to take one last hopeful gulp of air before your head is plunged into the freezing depths. I'm going under. As you sink below the surface, you see it. Or rather, you see her. The body you found floating when you first arrived, its hand is locked around your ankle, 
the heavy chains pulling you both down into the unfeeling, suffocating nothingness. I get it. We shouldn't have killed her. Just get it away from us, please. The past is the past. There's no changing. There's nothing to face. And there's not a lot we can do about the present either. Not unless we think like we should have been doing all along. But there is no thinking as you drown. You desperately try to pull yourself back to the surface again, and again, and again. Your icy limbs flailing desperately against the grip of her rotting corpse. And all the while her ghastly figure stares down at you, expressionless, as unfeeling as the weight around your head. Your heart is filled with water, the same your mind filled with blood. In the Anna, we're not so different. But your lungs don't fill, nor will they ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Okay. Um, give her the knife. Slide it over. No, absolutely not. I am not letting you hand your only weapon over to the world-ending princess. Until you come up with any other idea, like, say, I don't know, doing your job and slaying her, you remain rigidly in place. I don't need to slay her. All I need to do is lay her. You tried this last time. Do you want to know how it went for you? Oh, I remember. She killed us, which, by your estimation, ended the world, right? Oh, well, we tried to take over your body. Exactly. If I were you, I wouldn't be too keen on repeating your mistake. Hell, we could even force your hand and do it ourselves. I'm not afraid of dying again. Are you? A little. <laughs> I think you got your point across. Fine. You slide the blade across the floor. The princess maintains unsettling eye contact as she reaches down to pick it up. Thanks. You're welcome. She pulls up her hair, smiling slightly, as she raises the blade to her throat. What is she doing? She doesn't say another word as she cuts into her own neck. No. Uh, what if I look you away? close your eyes. That doesn't stop you from hearing every grisly detail. The splitting of skin, the wet mulching of severed veins, the grinding of metal against bone. I'll be damned. She's actually doing your job for you. Why would she do that? Huh. So that's her play. Killing herself? We don't know that she's dead yet. We're not even watching it happen. She could just be faking those sounds. And then, finally, you hear a snap and an uneasy silence. There is a slow and fleshy tear. Hard to fake that. This is worse than watching. <laughs> and yet our eyes are still closed. Well then open them. Finally, there's the soft thud of something roughly head-sized bouncing against the floor and the clattering of chains as they drop along with it. I think you can open your eyes now. Oh no, oh no, oh no, what did we do? Can, can we put it back? Please tell me we can put it back. The princess's eyes stare up at you, dead. Congratulations, you saved the world. Are you sure she's not winking at us? Obviously not, she is thoroughly deceased. I hate this. Can we just get out of here now, please? Of course, the princess is slain and the world is saved. Whenever you're ready, you can proceed to your reward. We should take her with us, don't you think? What? No. 
You shouldn't do that. Why would you do that? I can think of lots of reasons. A trophy, proof of our victory. Hell, we could even give her a proper bear. You don't right, let me fine. just skip through this. Damn it, man. Fine. You pick up the princess's severed head, its neck stump still oozing bodily fluids. Then make your way back. Did you see that? I could have. Okay, hold on. Let me. Aye. I'll load this file right here. We did not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. Leave. But you need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze, and then you see it. A figure, faint and veiled, veiled in shadow, just beyond the reflection. Are you me? I think you know what I am. A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass in, in the glass in two. And then another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. Cause I'm only a crack in this castle of glass. Holy shit! I just realized the crow's behind it. So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. The narrator. Yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help after all. An objective voice to guide your blade? But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. What are you? Are you something like me? Oh, I'm nothing like you. I'm an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Oh my god, there's a lot. Others like you. You've said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon, and then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Do you have anything to say for yourself? First of all, for all this hubris? I do. People out there are real. No matter what you do to them, no matter what you enable, I want you to remember that. After everything you've done to us, do you think anyone deserves to live? Nobody alive has done anything to you. I'm all gone. But if you and the princess want to smite the rest of them for the crimes of a dead man, if you really want to be that petty, there isn't much I can do to stop you. I have so many questions for you. Um, does it hurt when? Sure. Ask them and make it quick. I won't last for long now that you can see me. Um. Yeah, I shouldn't have clicked on that. Does it hurt when pieces? Of you break off like that? It doesn't hurt. I don't feel pain. Not physically. 
I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? You've already crossed the point of no return. There's no saving me now. Not that there's ever been much of me to save. Soon I'll be gone entirely, and you'll be left alone with your final choice. So allow me to make my final request. The princess contains death itself within her, but I wove you into being with all the power you need to destroy her forever. Do it. Slay her, and rid the world of death and suffering. Um... And what is my true identity? You're the long quiet, the god I made to rid the world of death. Oh. Death of the author. Run out of questions. Oh no. Run. Um. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I still have to see what she thinks about all of this. I think you're out of time. Okay. I've said my piece, and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. As the final fragment of the glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. Long quiet. All of this is you. God damn. The narrator was right. You are the long quiet. A vast and nascent nascent god. And it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. A guarded vessel. Bring the prisoner to her. Fun. I have other questions, so I wanna... She's gone. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. Alright. I think you know what I am. A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass in two. And then another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. Um... Are you a part of me or are you something else? No, I'm not a part of you. But that's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? From one vantage point I must seem wholly foreign, but from another, well... All the versions of me that have existed have collectively heard your every thought and driven your every action. If that isn't being part of you, then what is? You're not me, then what are you? I'm an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. You're the one who wanted me to say the princess. Why? Versions of you... You've said that before... Many, many times... You've been the same all along... If you made me, what, then what am I? You're the long quiet. The god I made to rid the world of death. I don't want to be a god. I want to be me. You are you. And if you would let everything work the way it was supposed to, you never would have woken up to the reality of your true nature. There's no accounting for free will.
I have so many questions for you. I'm sorry I don't want to destroy you. Will I help? Uh, every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of it breaks. You wanted, you're the one who wanted me to slay the princess. Why? Are you a god or were you a god? I wasn't supposed to see all this, was I? What is a princess? Did you make her too? How am I supposed to rid the world of death? Wait, I can destroy the mirror? Hold on. You have heard enough. The narrator was right. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god, and it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Um, no, hold on. Okay. You're the one who wanted me to say the prin- Oh, actually. No, no, no. So, what is the princess? Did you make her too? She is the shifting mound. The ebb and flow. The capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die. For she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things. Not in the way that people can. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. This isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. You have anything to say for yourself? After everything you've done to us? Do you know that things won't just be worse if I dest if I destroy her? What would it be like to live in a world without her? Does anyone else know about this? Does anyone else know about us? There's too many questions. There's way too many questions. She's capable of becoming whatever people believe her to be. I, I've met you so many times. Why did you make her a princess? I didn't make her a princess, but I wove the idea of her into something your scattered mind could fathom. You chose for that something to be a princess. Oh. Okay. Do you know that things won't just be worse if I destroy her? Of course they will be worse. I saw a glimpse of a better world, and I did what I could to make it real. Anything is better than oblivion. In the end, Nobody wants to leave. Mm. If you made us. I want to know that this has been torture. I want you to know that this has been torture. The inevitability of death is torture. I would gladly put two infinite beings through what you've been through to spare infinite lives from oblivion. If I destroy her, won't I be alone? Yes, you will. But it will all be worth it. Not for me. Does 
Does anyone else know about this? Does anyone else? No, probably not. You're the one who wanted me to say the princess. Why? Because among other things, she is death itself. To rid the world of suffering, to save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind, she must be destroyed. Rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. Are you dying? I can't tell. But I've said my piece, and my time's up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. The final fragment, the glass shatters and you see yourself within this newfound clarity. Yeah, alright. Okay. Save. And then let me load. This one right here. Uh, oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, um... You don't need- oh! Oh shit, I didn't even know. You don't- you don't need answers from the thing that lives in the mirror. You already know what you are. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god, and it is finally time for you to wake up. Oh, this is you. A gracious vessel. Bring the prisoner's hair to he head to her. Um. On. Let me just uh, see something. Um... Okay, yeah. Have them all, I'm pretty sure. So now... When you arrive... Uh, wait. Uh, game. Thank you. Save here. Then load... This one. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. I've missed you too. Do you know about... Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. What happens now? I've missed you too. She... 
unfurls an endless cascade of smiles in response, and then patiently waits for you to continue. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. Well, what happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? I suppose so. When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitude. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? Oh boy, there is a lot to... Say the princess, I think it's time for us to leave this place, but I don't want... I don't know how to leave or where to go, okay. We are gonna save... There's so many stories we've left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Even as your eyes begin to open, you still hold on to the notions of is and is not, of beginning and end. Pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve, nothing restraining us but us. Um, hold on. Uh, real quick. Why did that not? That's fine. Don't you have a say in all of this? Why is this all falling on me? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens. Just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Let's talk this through. I still have so many questions and I need answers before I can make a choice. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. And you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. But violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. To question everything is to deny the proof of reality that lies in front of you. By believing in your suffering, you make your suffering real. In believing in your limitations, you placed a shackle on your neck. But even then, you remembered the impermanence of the material and watched as the walls of your prison decayed into nothing. To be impermanent is not to end, but to change. And for the world to be impermanent is to make finite the suffering of all things. Would you strip that gift away and leave them all to suffer in their permanence? They'll get over it. They'll see permanence as a gift in time. That would be torture. I won't engage with this. Remain silent. Um, I don't need this. Um, they'll get over it. 
Do see permanence as a given time. Yeah. Horror and time, but they see it as a curse. Your prayer tried to sink into your body. And another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? Love melted it into skepticism, and you pulled back layer after layer after layer, until all you were left with was the knowledge that you did not know me. You sought the truth, though. Will you hide from it, now that it is within your grasp? I have no desire to hide, but the truth can be made better. If destroying you is what that takes, so be it. I don't want to hide from the truth. I won't engage with violence. I get it. There's no need for us to keep fighting. I'll leave with you, so... Uh... There's no need for us to keep fighting. I'll leave with you. I just don't know how. Stop the fight early and surrender. Sure. Or... Yeah, let's do that, because I feel like that's not the true ending. Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with you. For yourself. You fall into yourself. The body of an ancient creature stares from its hibernation and you feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here, except for her, is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonizing tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it. But it does not yield. I love you. Love you too, baby. Take her hand. Oh, yeah. All at once, the unyielding tension breaks. Oh. You are free, and she is with you. It's magnificent. Oh my god, this is trippy as fuck. There's like grass, like growing, but it's also like the that like the effects. Oh my god, I that's trippy as fuck. There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality. Something that simply is. What happens now? Everything. Just like it always has been. And just like it always will be. Step into the infinite. You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets. Each of which contains a thousand more. You exist and you are aware just as you have always been. And just as you will always be. Though conflict is in your nature, the two of you will never be alone. And the two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. There are no endings, only new beginnings. There's something I missed. Uh, 
Um, right, let me go back here. Yes, exactly. It's over. Why do I ask you for that? You open the cabin only. What? If so glad you're keeping an open mind. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. Psst. Really? Like it here. Well, if you ever change your mind, just let me know, I guess. More happy times. Please, sh the little eventually. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Wait, yeah. This happened. Wait. Is it something that I can only do? I think it might be something that I can only do in the in the new game. Okay, 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 okay. okay. All right, all right. Let me load. I have no desire to hide, but the truth can be made better if destroying you is what that is if destroying you is what that takes, so be it. I am so deeply woven into the threads of this reality that I cannot imagine it without me. Perhaps there is a better world to build. But you cannot know until you see it. Are you so sure in your blind optimism that you would shatter all your creation? The sensation of bleeding and sweating and breaking and mending and dying and living comes back in vivid color. A past that is also present. A pain that is everything and yet nothing at all. You feel the shame of a hundred deaths and the pride of a hundred conquests. All of the peaks and valleys weaving themselves into a single tapestry, free of beginning and free of end. Do you remember when we killed each other with such fervent passion that death itself no longer sat on our shoulders? It was beautiful. It was meaningless. Neither of us could ever truly win. It was unnecessary. We could have worked together to build something better. We didn't have to hurt each other. I wouldn't engage in violence. I get it. There is no need for us to keep quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was, uh, it was unnecessary. But for us, that was better. For me, there was no better end. I lost myself in an artistry so profound that it lifted both of us into something greater. I helped you out of fear and I'm not afraid of you anymore. That's why I resist you now. I fear you now and never. I'm glad to set you free. I won't engage in violence. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And yet there is no 
reason to resist me beyond fear and illusion. If you aren't afraid of me, why would you resist me? Why would you force the rest of the world to resist me too? You are unmovable. Is it by the design of our conflict that I cannot win? Or are you just that fervent in how you cling to delusion? Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. It's easy to believe in the things you believe in when you get to say it above it all. Fun. It is from my vantage point that I can see the totality of truth. What do you think happens if we leave here? This universe dies, and a new one is born. And that one dies, and a new one is born. And you and I get to witness it all. Weaving a tapestry of life wherever we go. Okay, I'm ready to go, but how do we leave? Wait, no. I never want to fight. Mm. Can't let that happen. I can't let everything die. I have to fight for a better word. I'm so sorry. You are cruelty itself, and I cannot let you exist. I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It can't be this. I won't kill you, but I won't let you free. Oh. You've done everything you can do to make me understand your perspective, but you keep keep dismissing mine. If you think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. Okay. Let me save again. You don't have to face her alone. Which hero are you? I'm all of them. I assume in the same way that you're all of you. You have no idea how good it is to hear from you. It's good to be here. Seems like you've been doing all right on your own, but I don't think you can strike a decisive blow from out here. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. Hey, sick Bill. Fuck you laughing for. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Um... I'm ready. Let's go. Uh. Um. And here we are. Strange beginning. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit. Uh, well, your friend is in here, so I'm in charge now. What friend? Do you need me to describe things? That'd be nice. A little comfort in an almost unfamiliar place. Oh, you made it here too. We never really got to talk to her, did we? <laughs> this one, I mean. Um, I like that description now, if you don't mind, for all time's sake. Yeah, of course. The interior of the cabin is, well, it's not really a cabin, is it? It's that terrifying blend of everything only it doesn't feel so terrifying anymore oh shit oh shit wait what am I doing it's still shaped like a cabin it's just different in places <laughs> there's still that. walls a door to the basement a table that knife windows 
You know, come to think of it, I don't think he ever really included the windows in his cabin descriptions, did he? Nope. He mentioned the windows when we broke them. Oh, yeah. Uh, caps locks. No mirror this time, either. I think it did whatever it needed to do. And I know I've already mentioned it, but if we want to see this through, we're going to need that blade. Is Will Wilson... What the fuck are you on about? Is it just the three of us? Did anyone else make it to the cabin? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there, jumbled up in the rest of her. I see. And I've been here since you left me here. No hard feelings. I'm just glad you're back to see this through. <laughs> uh, is the narrator already gone? Yeah, it's dead silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got obliterated. Really goes to show how much you've grown up. Killing somebody across every iteration of reality just by existing. I don't even know what I would do if I were in the driver's seat with that kind of power. Good riddance. Good riddance? Really? I'm gonna miss the guy. <laughs> I'm surprised considering you've decided to go through with the whole slaying thing he was pushing for since the beginning. I guess you can like the idea and hate the man. Um... Hmm. Uh, enter the base. No blade, huh? Have you given up on slaying her? Yeah, a little bit. If that's what you think is best, then that's what you think is best. I'm just along for the ride at this point. I'm just too curious. Those winding stairs again. Oh. But now there's only one way forward. Do you remember the first time we were here? first time we heard her voice yeah yeah it was a real mess stopped being fun pretty quick it's okay you can come down the stairs won't bite not this time let's talk one last time before you kill us if that's still what you want to do she doesn't sound messy anymore though at least somebody here feels put together and forward we go we shouldn't keep her waiting. It was easy oh, compared shit. to last time. Just stairs. No weird fuzzy stuff or nonsense trying to pull us apart. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. No knife? Even after everything you saw out there, and all the lives we've ended together, and you coming right out and saying you'd rather see us dead, you're second-guessing yourself? We thought we could see everything, but this is outside of the script. Are we missing a page? Bit with them. I never got the chance to talk to you before. Before you were taken away. Not you, you at least. Sorry for what I did to you. It's okay. No hard feelings. In a way, you helped us become a version of... Her. But we weren't very good at it. I don't think a conversation with us then would have been very insightful. That's probably why we were taken away. That's all we had to offer you. It was time to change again. After all we did, she's just forgiving us. Just like that. You know, that means a lot. I don't want to be a god. Hard agree. Seems overrated. <laughs> Too much pressure. <laughs> But that's what you've always been, even now. You can't put aside such an important part of who you are, and neither can we. So, you might as well embrace it. I guess. Are you the same as you are out there? Yes, we think. We're kind of like a shadow. Out there, every part of us is blended together into one huge idea. A big wave of unyielding change crashing against the world. But in here, we're fractured. Small. Still a little more separate than we'd like to be. Our instincts still trying to pull us in different directions. That's kind of like us, isn't it? 
Yeah, we really are the same. I only wanted to slay the you out there. It's easier to want to kill an abstract concept than it is a person, even if you say that you're the same. We don't have many options, though, do we? There are only so many places to go, and you don't have a means to slay us. So, what will we do? Okay, hold on. Um, want to save again? Uh, I want to load this. Take the blade. That's probably for the best. It always seems to give us more things we can do, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you're not going to suggest we throw it out the window? <laughs> no, we've been through too much for that. <laughs> And he's gone, so there's no one left to mess with but ourself. Yeah. You've gotten serious. Wow. Besides, what's the third beat? It isn't funny if we toss it out the window twice. Well, we have tossed it out the window twice. There's the guy I know. You actually did it! I know I just told you not to, but I'm proud that you did it anyways. It's like you've finally left the nest. Yeah, just like that it's gone, isn't it? No, it's Blade tossed, still glass there. shattered. It's still there! I guess we'll have to make do without it. It's... There's your third beat. It's still there. Hey! <laughs> You're right. Good work. That was really funny. Okay, hold on. Um... Wanna make a deal? What kind of deal? That's probably... Snap. You've decided... Enter the basement. Those winding stairs again. Yeah, it was. It's okay. Let's. She okay. And forward we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. That was easy compared to last time. Just stairs. No weird fuzzy stuff or nonsense trying to pull us apart. Hmm. All right. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Even after everything you've seen, and all the lives we've lived together, you still want to kill us. The Echo really got his hooks into you. Unless you have your own reasons for wanting us dead? Play the princess. So this is really it then. Let's see this through. I'll tell you later, Sigil is about to make a- What is this RP? What the fuck are you on about? So, you've made a choice for all of us. Even through everything. Through all the worlds we've seen and experienced. Through all the lives we've known and lost. We could never imagine a world without you and us. It doesn't feel possible. Despite it all, we've always loved you. We hope you don't regret what comes next. You blink, and the princess is gone. All you have left of her is a small, melancholic weight that sits at the borders of your heart. Whatever action brought you and the princess into being was rough and jagged, and left each of you with a piece of the other. By destroying her once and for all, you also destroyed a part of yourself. But the world hasn't ended. Things continue on. She's gone. And I don't think she's coming back. No, she's not. A small part of her is with us. Is that a metaphor or are you being literal? Doesn't matter, we don't need to linger down here anymore. Let's get going. That's right, we've got our whole world to see. You leave the basement behind.
then the stairs. And you leave the cabin itself. It's quiet here. Yeah, there's not a lot for us to do, is there? The path and the woods outside are an empty canvas. But there is even more to see beyond this place. The fruits of your labor. A world free from death. Set yourself free. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation and you feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonizing tension to, an, to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you Confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles, you push back and strain against it, but it does not yield. Come on now, it shouldn't be that hard to break out of here. We're some sort of god, aren't we? He's gone, she's gone. No one is left to trap us here but us. Open your heart and bear, bear witness to your new kingdom. All at once, the un unyielding tension gives way. And then the shattering. You are free. And before you and before you and you are free, and before you lies the endless expanse of absolute reality. A new absolute reality. One forged by your will and by a long and arduous cycle of bloodshed that has stained your hands countless times over. But there will be no more bloodshed in this new world. I knew we finally see it through. All it takes to be a winner is grit and determination. The whispering and the coercion and the bickering. Everything horrible about being alive has stopped. I could get used to this. That wasn't very hard at all. Speak for yourself. I hope this was all worth it, because I'm personally inconsolable. Here, here, to our vanquished foe. Welcome back, everyone. It's great to see you all again. Now we just have to figure out what to do with ourselves. Forever. No problem. <laughs> we can do that. Yeah? Yeah. We can do that. A new and unending dawn, say the princess. I want to make a new game. You're on a path. You're Alright, um Sending contains the cabin. You make your way up the shore. she would we're not gonna ignore him. Hmm? Oops. Ah, oh, fuck. Of course it does. This fucking... <sighs> yep. Because it wouldn't be my fucking window capture if it didn't capture Steam for no reason. Uh... Uh... Can I, uh, can I, can I please, can I please capture, oh, there we fucking go, about time. Uh, can you please shut up, please, shut the fuck up. Okay, hold on. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. 
you're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Um... You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, Slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. She's so focus on yeah, the- yeah, yeah. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? You step forward, your grip on the blade. Oh, no talking that. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason. So, you should just drop- She's unarmed. You lunge forward without a moment. You feel flesh ease. Oh, this is- <laughs> I'm up. Do you- It's like- Yes, but it's- is it... Of course, yeah, she's yes. dead. Exactly. It's over. With your work done, you make your way back. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone, but that day... If... You open the cap... Oh, what? If... Uh... Oh, okay. So glad you're... This is what spent time past. Of course we are, lucky. Like really? Here. Well... If you ever change your mind, just... Let me know, I guess. More happy time passes. Please... A little eventually. Uh, the good ending. For real this time. You did it. You saved everyone. Yeah. Okay. You can't do that unless it's the beginning of the game, I guess. Alright. Okay. What if we just leave? Yeah. He'd hate that. So you should do it. <laughs> Even if he isn't here anymore. It's the spirit of the thing. Leave? But what would happen if we left with you? Would we exist inside ourselves? Are you sure you want to find out if that's possible or what that would mean for you? Is that what you want? Yes. Take her hand in yours. I've always wanted to leave with you, but I didn't. Uh, didn't like being a god. I just want to walk through the cabin door. As we are, just you and me. Not knowing is exactly why I want it. Oh my god, there's too many answers. We knew everything out there, but we don't know this. I want this. It doesn't matter what it means. What matters is that. We're leaving together, that's all I want. All right. Sure. After so many iterations, so many different versions of us clashing and coming together and clashing again, leaving with you feels like all we ever really wanted. 
think I'm going to stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. I think we've done our job. Are you going to be a okay alone? We are alone. We have each other. Don't ever feel lost. We have each other. So we're good. And I'm sure we'll find the others. Uh... You lead and the princess follows. And together you leave the basement behind for the last time. It's quiet as you ascend, a comfortable silence filling a space that used to be flooded with violence and words and noisy thoughts. But there is an energy in the silence, an electricity in the anticipation of the unknown. At the top of the stairs, the princess stalls, eyes fixed on the cabin door. You can see attention sees them. They're unsure of themselves for the first time in their long and short existence. They have no part to play anymore and they know this and they know this, yet they still are. And they cross the room to the door outside. You follow their confident steps. We can feel the threads of all the stories we've told together, all pulling us back down the stairs and into those chains where we know the outcome of everything that could ever come to pass. It's comfortable there, but it's confining. We want more. We want whatever might be on the other side of this door. Something new that we'll experience together. With someone who exists outside of us. With someone who can see us in a way we can never see ourselves. Love you, who's going to open it? Are you ready? Neither of us knows what it's going to be like out there. Open the door. Neither of us knows. And that is why we're here. We can't wait to see it with you. What happens next? Whatever it is, you'll face it together. Aww. What if I do... I don't think she's coming back. Then we did what we set out to do. Okay, never mind. Uh... Hmm. After so many iterations. No, I already saw this. Um on, let me see the last two. Um Motherfucker. Um, that sucks.
Oh, right. Right, 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 right. I forgot about this. Uh, was it? I can't remember. Was it this? There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about this. Uh, I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It can't be this. I won't kill you, but I won't let you free. There is no something else. This, what we are, is everything. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it alone. Um... I thought you died whenever I looked in the mirror. I don't think that's wrong, but... I'm not sure it's right either. But we can worry about all that later. Seems like you've been doing all right on your own, but she's too many things at once out here. If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get past all that divine confidence. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Uh, I can, uh, I can do this out here on my own. You can't, and lucky for you, I'm not gonna let you try. <laughs> oh, okay, well. Done everything you can. What I offer you is not perspective. It is true. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it alone. Are you supposed There's too many things all at once out here. If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get through all that divine confidence. I can help. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? No. Too bad. We're going. Now. Okay, well. Let me load. Let me try going all the way over here. Oh, I can. So long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you, ever the passive player, always reacting when the echoes. I told you what was going to happen when we reached this point. I know, and I've been waiting for you to see it through. Violence has always been our language, hasn't it? If this is what it takes to save him, then so be it. To question everything is to deny- But you did not live alone. You found me. And we held trust in each other for no reason than to believe in something that wasn't us. Cold skepticism turned to liberation, but it required a journey to blossom. Though you have blossomed, do you have no more journeys left to make? What of those in the spaces beyond? Would you erase the path ahead to hold everyone still? 
Um, hold on. I won't engage with this. Conflict and discomfort have to find the flow of everything between Um But you say nothing. This is you Uh We didn't have to hurt each other. Did we hurt each other? For me, there was no better end. I lost myself in an artistry so profound that it lifted both of us into something greater. Continues. As a clash between you abates, you begin to shake, you will rapidly, you will rapidly dissolve it. Immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant, there is no center. You cannot remove something without removing the relations which define it. To destroy what you perceive as evil, is to damn everything you perceive as good. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. Wait, maybe I'm supposed to. There is no what okay, uh. She's there still a. It's time. She I'm gonna take that as a yes. Okay. Wait, maybe. Okay, hold on. Do you have been. Oh, we. Huh? That's probably for the. So, no, we've been. You've gone see it. Besides, there's the. Enter the basement. Yeah, it's it. And full. Yeah, that was so. Sit with them. I don't want to have to slay you, but I don't know what other options there are. Then don't slay us. Maybe there never even has to be an ending. The way it all works seems to be based on you. If you believe we can do something, then we can do it. So believe that we can put it all back. Believe we can fix this place. And believe we can make us all forget. Believe we can send us all back to the beginning, before anyone woke up, before the truth consumed us. Can they really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? Why wouldn't it be what we want? Especially if it brings him back. We can't keep going without a nemesis. Uh, what did we say? Do anything. I don't want to forget you. Okay, then let's do it. I believe in us. Okay. If this is your choice, then I have your back. I guess I'll see you on the other side. Speak for yourself. Maybe I'll see you too. Maybe I won't. They take the blade from our hand and stare fondly into our eyes. Uh... 
Um, I'll see you soon. Everything is going to be okay. We love you. Oh, and the game just resets? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Thanks for telling me what to do. You're on a path in the woods and at the end of the cab and the end of the path is a cabin. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna consider that done. Cause fuck me.